people that is society. ओके आई थिंक नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम है वो जब तक रीजॉइन करते हैं तब तक मैं एक फॉर्मल वेलकम कर लेती हूँ अपने सभी गेस्ट का और अपने सारे पार्टिसिपेंट्स और मैं अपने टीम मेंबर्स का सबका मैं वेलकम करती हूँ स्पेशली uh, मैं अपने ऑनरेबल प्रो चांसलर मैम डॉक्टर अंजना राव जी को नमस्ते कहती हूँ उसके साथ ही मैं वेलकम करती हूँ मैं अपने टीम मेंबर्स का और अदर स्पीकर जो हमारे ग्रेट स्पीकर है Uh, जिसमें से मेन हमारे हैं डॉक्टर पुष्पांजलि कैप्टन गीतिका सिंह मिस साइमा डॉक्टर राज सांगवान ये हमारे मेन स्पीकर्स रहेंगे नेटवर्क uh, इशू चल रहा है काफी ज्यादा और इस टेक्नोलॉजी यूज में जहां हम लोग फेस टू फेस इजीली बात कर सकते हैं वहां कहीं ना कहीं ये ग्लिचेस आते रहते हैं uh, मैं अपने पार्टिसिपेंट्स का भी uh, को भी वेलकम करना चाहती हूँ और स्पेशल थैंक्स करती हूँ मैं डॉक्टर एस के सिंहमार सर और डॉक्टर संदीप सिहाग सर जी का जिन्होंने टोटल हेल्प की हमें इस इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस को ऑर्गेनाइज कराने में आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू दी आई सी आर टी टीम एंड माई टीम मेंबर्स ऑफ वीमेन स्टडीज एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड स्पेशल थैंक्स टू मैडम अंजना राव जिन्होंने मुझे परमिशन दी हमारी टीम को परमिशन दी इस कॉन्फ्रेंस को कराने के लिए नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर सोनम to come forward and introduce our chief guest dr sonam thank you ma'am good evening ma'am good evening good evening. good evening to all of you i dr sonam bisla working as an assistant professor in physiotherapy department from baba masnat university asal bor rotak first of all i want to wish every woman every mothers a very happy mothers day two lines for all mothers दस बात अलग है पर बात तो एक है दस बात अलग है पर बात तो एक है उसे माँ कहूँ या भगवान बात तो एक है टू सेंग डेट भगवान हर जगह नहीं हो सकते इसलिए उन्होंने माँ को बनाया है ओके विदाउट कंज्यूमिंग सो मच ऑफ टाइम आई हेयर टू इंट्रोड्यूस आवर चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर अंजना राव currently working on the post of pro chancellor at baba masnath university asal bhor rohtak she worked as for 3 year as dean administration at the same university she has done her phd education in subject of history she had given many lectures in various conferences webinar so the first international conference topic of mam was spiritual healing because she has spiritual nature i feel after that post covid complication management ayurvedic treatment and many more she is connected to many ngos for social services when she was in 10th standard her parents got to know that she is highly interested in social services and she has been helping others since childhood and she also has a lot in the covid pandemic period she given many donations such as food donation ration donation book donation tea donation and also treatment given free in masnat in general hospital and uh, if you talk about the uh, pandemic period uh, even half salary was not received in private sector we got full salary in the institute so as a employee we feel so proud to be work here yes really proud yes <laughs> now i want to invite her so that you all can enjoy her blessing good evening ma'am Good evening, ma'am, and welcome, ma'am. Happy Mother's Day. Good evening, good evening. Happy Mother's Day, all of you. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, you can start. Thanks, Doctor Sonam, for this lovely introduction. 
thanks good evening all of you i dr anjana rao pro chancellor baba masnath university i am here to speak today a few words about this wonderful day first of all i would like to say a very happy mothers day to all mothers present here it is hard to sum up the love and affection of a mother in any number of words i feel blessed that i have got an opportunity to speak my mother for all the effects she has taken to raise me into what am i today <clears throat> few lines our mothers q हमारे सर्वांगीण विकास में मां की सदाई अहम भूमिका रही है मां के सहारे के बिना हम अपने अस्तित्व की कल्पना भी नहीं कर सकते एक मां ही है जो बिना किसी स्वार्थ भाव के अपने बच्चे का लालन पालन करके उनको बड़ा करती है संसार में मां का स्थान भगवान से भी बड़ा है मां की जगह और कोई नहीं ले सकता ये आप सब भी हम सब जानते हैं माँ का छोटा से एक माँ शब्द में कितना पूरा वर्ड समाया हुआ है माँ अगर एक बच्चे की एक आह सुन लेती है थोड़ी उसके इतना दिल घबरा जाता है दो मिनट के लिए कि मेरे बच्चे को क्या हो गया सारी उम्र बचपन से लेके माँ अपने बच्चे को जब से बड़ा करती है माँ की बहुत अहम भूमिका रहती है बच्चे के लालन पालन में एक गुरु होता है एक और माँ माँ गुरु से भी बढ़कर बताई गई है पहला गुरु इनफैक्ट माँ ही होती है जो अपने बच्चे को पाल पोस के बड़ा करती है ये आप सभी भली बात ही जानते हैं माँ के बारे में मैं क्या कहू मैं अपनी माँ से बहुत ही बहुत ज्यादा प्रेरित हूँ मैं जो भी हूँ अपनी माँ की वजह से हूँ और माँ इस संसार में और सब कुछ मिल सकता है लेकिन माँ दोबारा नहीं मिल सकती जिनकी माताएं चली जाती हैं उनको जाने के बाद शायद इसका ज्यादा एहसास होता है जब वो हमें छोड़ जाती है तो इस मेरी माँ भी पीछे दो साल से चली गई हैं अभी अभी डॉक्टर अरुणाचल की माँ भी पीछे तो मैं सभी माँ जो हमारी स्वर्गीय माता जी हैं जिनकी भी और प्रजेंट मैं सभी को हाथ जोड़ के नमन करती हूँ उनके चरणों में बार बार वंदन करती हूँ कि माँ हमेशा अपने बच्चों को जो दे सकती हैं माँ से बड़ा इस दुनिया में कोई नहीं है माँ के बारे में जितना भी हम कहे हम रात दिन कितना ही बोले वो कम है जितने भी हमारे विमंस हैं सभी यहाँ पे माताएं हैं उन सबको मैं एक ही आज के दिन इस पवित्र दिन पे यही संदेश देना चाहती हूँ कि जिस भी माँ को जो भी माँ लेडी हो जो जिस जहाँ पे आप अगर हर मदर्स डे पे एक माँ को खुशी दे सकते हैं तो उससे बड़ा पुण्य और कोई नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि कई माताएं आप सब तो शायद संपन्न माताएं बैठी है मेरे सामने कुछ माताएं ऐसी हैं शायद जिनके पास अपने बच्चों को इतनी खुशी देने के लिए कभी चप्पल नहीं होते कभी अच्छे कपड़े नहीं होते कभी अच्छा भोजन न्यूट्रिशंस जहाँ जहाँ आपके सराउंडिंग में जो भी ऐसी माताएं हैं जो थोड़े गरीब तबके से हैं आपकी मेड है उन सबको आप अपने बच्चों के छोटे कपड़े दे सकती हैं जो भी उनको जरूरत के अकॉर्डिंग कुछ भी मार्केट से ला दे सकती हैं तो ये बहुत ही अच्छा एक परिवार का पालन पोषण हो जाएगा और एक आप अपनी माँ को एक श्रद्धांजलि भी देंगी अपनी माँ के प्रणाम माँ को एक प्रणाम भरा संदेश देंगी कि मैं एक अच्छी माँ की भूमिका निभा रही हूँ अभी भी क्योंकि अपनी माँ से अच्छे हम कभी नहीं हो सकते चाहे हमारी माँ पढ़ी लिखी हो या अनपढ़ हो लेकिन माँ से बड़ा इंटेलिजेंट इस दुनिया में कोई नहीं होता माँ में सब समाया हुआ है तो मैं आप सभी के माध्यम से आज के दिन यही संदेश देना चाहती हूँ कि जो भी हम हेल्प कर पाए अपने सराउंडिंग में तो प्लीज इस दिन को पवित्रता से मनाएं और बचपन से जो माँ एक अपने बच्चे के लिए करती आ रही है वो आप सब भी भली भांति जानते हैं कि माँ अपने बच्चे के लिए क्या क्या करती हैं हमारी कितनी महिलाएं हैं जो हमारी कुछ आइडल है झांसी की रानी सरोजनी नायडू और जो जो मैं कहूँ कितनी बड़ी कवित्री रही हैं हमारे जो राष्ट्रपति मैडम उन सबको भी मैं प्रणाम करती हूँ और बहुत बहुत मदर्स डे पर शुभकामनाएं देती हूँ थैंक्स 
all of you. Take care. Happy Mother's Day once again. Sushila Madam, bolye. Unmute karo, unmute. लगता है उनके नेटवर्क में प्रॉब्लम आ रही है वो बोल नहीं पा रहे चलो कोई बात नहीं मैं थोड़ा सा बताती हूँ कि आज ये जो टॉपिक है हमारा ये हम लोगों ने क्यों लिया आज मदर्स डे भी है और शी इज द फर्स्ट टीचर ऑफ आर फैमिली पूरे संसार की रचयिता हम ये कह सकते हैं कि माँ ही होती है बचपन में हम लोग एक सॉन्ग सुना करते थे उसको नहीं देखा हमने कभी पर इसकी जरूरत क्या होगी ए माँ ए माँ तेरी सूरत से बड़ी भगवान की सूरत क्या होगी कहते हैं ना जिसके पास माँ है उसके पास सब कुछ है मतलब वो एक ऐसी शीतल छाया है जिसके आंचल में छिपकर हम लोग कैसी भी कैसी भी परेशानियां हमें हो हम क्षण भर में भूल जाते हैं माँ एक बार हमारे सिर पर हाथ रख दे बस और उसे तुरंत ही हम लोगों को ऐसा फील होने लग जाता है कि हाँ सब कुछ यही है इसके अलावा कहीं कोई स्वर्ग नहीं है और मैं तो बहुत खुश नसीब हूँ कि मतलब एक माँ होती है जो जन्म देती है एक माँ होती है जो हमें धर्म से मिलती है तो मुझे तो जिसने मुझे पैदा किया उन माँ ने तो हमें संस्कार दिए बहुत अच्छे ही लेकिन जिस धर्म में मतलब शादी होकर मैं जिस घर में आई उस माँ ने भी मुझे उतना ही प्यार दिया जितना मुझे शायद मायके में नहीं मिला मुझे यहाँ पर मिला है मतलब मुझे ये सिखाया गया कि भाई मुट्ठी में कुछ सपने लेकर भरकर जेबों में आशाएं दिल में है अरमान यही कुछ कर जाएं कुछ कर जाएं मींस कहने का मतलब क्या कि माँ सिर्फ ये सिखाती है कि तुम सपने देखो एक बार जब हम सपने देखते हैं उसकी उड़ान भरते हैं तो हमें यही सिखाया जाता है कि पंख फैलाओ और उड़ जाओ दूसरे की तरफ मत देखो कि कोई हमें सहारा देगा तो हम ये काम करेंगे मीन्स ऐसा नहीं हो सकता है तो माँ तो वो जरिया है हमारा जो हमें कभी गिरने नहीं देता कभी भी नहीं वो हमेशा ये कहता है कि तुम बढ़ो आगे हम तुम्हारे साथ खड़े हैं अब माँ के ऊपर हम इसलिए बात कर रहे हैं क्योंकि आज मदर्स डे भी है साथ के साथ आज कोई फील्ड ऐसा नहीं है जहां पर माँ हम मतलब माँ इन देंस फीमेल कहीं साथ ना खड़ी हो फीमेल हर फील्ड में आगे है अभी हमारे चीफ गेस्ट माम ने भी हमें बताया रानी लक्ष्मीबाई के बारे में हमें बता रहा है सरोजनी नायडू के बारे में हमें बताया और भी बहुत सारे आज भी अगर हम लोग स्पोर्ट्स की बात करते हैं या स्पेस की बात करते हैं मीन्स धरातल से लेकर आसमां तक हम ये चीज समझ सकते हैं आज हम लोग बहुत ज्यादा एक इमोशनल टच में आए हुए हैं क्योंकि सबको अपनी माँ याद आ रही है अब वो माँ चाहे आज है या नहीं या भगवान के पास वहां बैठकर भी हमें देख रही है कि हाँ आज हम जो खड़े हैं जो पथ उन्होंने हमें दिया था हम उसके ऊपर अग्रसर हैं हमें वो संस्कारों में दिया गया वो संस्कार ही है कि आज हम स्टैंड करे हुए हैं और जो चीज हमें मिली है मतलब माँ का सपोर्ट इतना ज्यादा होता है कि आह भर से भी माँ पहचानती है कि कहाँ कुछ हुआ है वो बता देती है कि हाँ कहीं कुछ और तुरंत मुझे याद है कि जब मेरा एक्सीडेंट हुआ था तो मुझे मतलब मम्मी को रात एक दिन पहले ही एहसास हो गया था और उन्होंने कहा था कि आ, फोन करके पूछा कि तुम ठीक हो मैंने कहा हाँ बिल्कुल ठीक हो अंडरस्टूड है कि यूनिवर्सिटी में थी तो आई वॉज ऑल राइट कहती नहीं तुम अपना ध्यान रखना अब मुझे ये नहीं पता था कि उसी दिन शाम को कुछ ऐसा होने वाला है मीन्स आप ये देखिए कि माँ को एहसास हो गया कि कुछ होने वाला है तो ये सोचने की बात है कि माँ कितना कुछ करती है तो फीमेल के पास ही ऐसी एक सिक्स सेंस होती है जो इन चीजों को वो बहुत जल्दी से पहचान लेती है और यही जरूरी है समाज को खड़ा करने में समाज में संस्कार देने में समाज को कुछ भी बेस्ट देने में माँ ही होती है अब मैं नेक्स्ट उसके लिए बुलाना चाहूंगी सुशीला शर्मा मैडम डॉक्टर सुशीला
सुशीला मैम आप आप स्क्रीन पे तो दिख रहे हैं लेकिन आप अनम्यूट करिए पहले अपने आप को कोमल मैडम आप प्रेजेंट हैं कोमल मैम डॉक्टर कोमल मैम इट वाज इट वाज म्यूटेड फ्रॉम होस्ट साइड दैट इज व्हाई आई वाज नॉट एबल टू सो संदीप संदीप सर हैज नाउ रिजॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ओके यस मैम इट इज बाय मिस्टेक होस्ट हैज मेड इट्स ओके it's okay it's so okay. it was a wonderful uh, words from uh, anjana ma'am uh, and uh, very well you have organized this session on without my presence so let us let us try to move on further further uh, now uh, it is the time to invite our guest of honor dr dr sandeep kumar sir he is the uh, in charge and director of uh, chairman of icert as i have already said icert is indian council of education research and, and training with non governmental organization and uh, it is important international council ma'am this international international council, council. yes yes international council and uh, in that the, it is contributing its uh, its uh, valuable uh, remarkable presence in uh, various societal um societal aspects like uh, cultural sports research and uh, and today's conference is also in collaboration with icert um dr sandeep kumar sir let me briefly introduce uh, about him uh, he is a ba honors in the ma hindi journalism and mass communication he has done uh, his uh, post graduation his doctorate and uh, delit uh, in uh, in hindi phd and uh, dr sandeep singh marsar has more than over 15 years professional experience in higher education and teach higher education teaching during this time he has gained extensive experience in uh, teaching editor in college magazine and editor in kurukshetra university magazine Kal kalanidhi in 2001 and 2 he is working as a resource person in ugc hn hrdc being a learning attitude he has written and presented many research papers on teaching methodology at primary secondary school curriculum and school education level at national and international uh, platforms he has published many books as an innovator he is still doing research on various aspects of school and higher education he has attended more than 200 national and international workshop conferences seminars uh, let me make you aware that this great personality is being awarded on the world human rights protection commission new york usa as a lifetime international member he was as lifetime member in the board of advisory of nhro national human rights organization an organization working under constitution of republic of india new delhi he is awarded with indian glory award outstanding principal of the year 2021 presented by iga kids production uh, sir has been also awarded with mahatma jyotiba phule fellowship national award 2020 by bhartiya dalit sahitya academy in 36th international conference held at delhi on 13th and 14th march 2021 Uh, let me uh, adding some more achievements in his uh, biography and uh, biography you can say uh, invited uh, as a guest of honor in facilitation program on international women's day organized by himakshira rashtriya sahitya parishad bardha on 8 march 2021 and he is connected with various organization as a life member in global environment and social association new delhi sir is also uh, being a part of international american council for research and development and international council for school leaders he is honored and awarded by international facilitation by 
Confederation of Indian Universities, Indo Global Education Excellence Award, Guru Drona Award, Best Principal Award, Teacher Innovative Award, Best Researcher Award, the legend of the world has already been awarded in the name of award, Social Achievement Award, and so many, so many, so many that, is, that are far away from the counting. So, uh, Singh Marcel, you are welcome on this platform on today's conference uh, on the public power and politics of uh, in the sector in which women are going to contribute and what are their roles and responsibilities. So, Apo. आपका स्वागत है सर आज के प्लेटफॉर्म पर आपके अमूल्य विचारों का हम आपका स्वागत करते हैं अब स्टेज आपके हवाले थैंक यू डॉक्टर शिला शर्मा जी आवाज आ रही है मैम ये सर, सर आ रही है आ रही है जी 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 बाबा मस्तनाथ यूनिवर्सिटी रोहतक इंडिया इंटरनेशनल काउंसिल फॉर एजुकेशन रिसर्च एंड ट्रेनिंग के संयुक्त तत्वावधान में आयोजित पब्लिक पावर एंड पॉलिटिक्स वोमेन एम्पावरमेंट रोल एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज विषय पर आयोजित एक दिवसीय अंतर्राष्ट्रीय सेमिनार में आप सभी का आईसीआरटी की तरफ से मैं स्वागत करता हूं हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं इस सेमिनार में मुख्य अतिथि के रूप में मौजूद बाबा मस्तनाथ यूनिवर्सिटी के प्रो चांसलर डॉक्टर अंजना राव जी की नोट स्पीकर डॉक्टर पुष्पांजलि सिंह इथोपिया कैप्टन गीतिका सिंह फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर चैम्या प्रवेश जी एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर पब्लिक रिलेशन आईसीआरटी चीफ पैटर्न प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर अरुण आंचल जी प्रोग्राम मॉडरेटर डॉक्टर सुशीला शर्मा जी गेस्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर राज सांगवान जी प्रोग्राम मोडेटर डॉक्टर कोमल प्रोग्राम कोऑर्डिनेटर डॉक्टर सोनम बिस्ला प्रोग्राम कोऑर्डिनेटर डॉक्टर मोनिका और जितने भी प्रतिभागी देश विदेश से आज के इस कार्यक्रम में जुड़े हुए हैं आप सभी का आईसीआरटी की तरफ से हार्दिक अभिनंदन आर्थिक स्वागत अब चूंकि गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर के रूप में मुझे बुलाया गया है तो मेरी भी ड्यूटी बनती है कि इस टॉपिक पर मुख्य बिंदु पर हम कुछ बात करें आज सबसे पहले मातृ दिवस है आज इस पावन पवित्र दिवस की आप सभी को बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं क्योंकि मां एक ऐसी छांव है कि जिसकी छाया में एक बच्चा पलता है मां की ड्यूटीज क्योंकि तो दस मिनट मुझे मिली है दस मिनट में हम बात करेंगे यदि मां के कर्तव्यों के बारे में हम बात करें तीन सौ पैंसठ दिन में कभी छुट्टी नहीं लेती मां चौबीस घंटे हमारे बीच उपलब्ध रहती है मां ऐसी मां को हम कभी जीवन में भुला नहीं सकते जिनके पास मां का साया आज है मैं ये मानता हूं कि वो दुनिया का सबसे खुशनसीब जीव है एक मानवता में ही नहीं चाहे एक जानवर वर्ग से भी क्यों ना हो मां की छाव सबसे बड़ी छाव वो कही गई है लेकिन आज के संदर्भ में यदि हम एक मां की भूमिका मां के महत्व पर यदि बात करें मां अपनी सभी ड्यूटी समय पर निभाती है लेकिन उसके बावजूद हम कितने खरे उतरते हैं उसका महत्व हमें समझना होगा वो किसी ने सच ही कहा है कि मां के दूध का कर्ज कभी नहीं चुकाया जा सकता ये कोई यदि 99 परसेंट कहे तो मैं इसको 100 फीसदी सही वाक्य कहूंगा क्योंकि मां के बिना वास्तव में इस दुनिया में कुछ भी नहीं है एक साधारण जीव से दुनिया की सबसे ताकतवर यदि किसी स्थान पर पहुंचाने वाले होते हैं तो जितनी भूमिका शिक्षक की होती है उससे कहीं एक माँ की भूमिका होती है क्योंकि मां ही एक बच्चे का सबसे पहले शिक्षक होती है यदि मां वो प्रारंभिक तौर पर वो शिक्षा सही तरीके से ना दें तो बच्चा स्कूल में जाकर के भी सही से एजुकेशन नहीं ले पाता क्योंकि तो ज्यादातर जो समय होता है वो एक बच्चा एक मां के पास आकर के ही बिताता है मुख्य बिंदु पर बोलने वाले हमारे वक्ता हैं 
की नोट स्पीकर हैं गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर हैं गेस्ट स्पीकर हैं वो सभी बोलेंगे क्योंकि एक मदर्स डे आज कितने पवित्र दिन पर ये कार्यक्रम आयोजित किया गया है ये इसकी एक महत्ता अपने आप में है मां के बारे में तो ये कहा गया है यदि सच्चे दिल से मां ईश्वर को बुलाएं तो ईश्वर को भी आना पड़ता है क्योंकि मां को भगवान का दूसरा रूप माना गया है इस धरती पर भगवान है वो एक सुप्रीम पावर जिसका नाम भगवान है गॉड अल्लाह वायुरु गॉड जिसके अनेकों नाम वो हैं लेकिन हमने साक्षात रूप से उनके कभी दर्शन नहीं किए होंगे हमने उनको नहीं देखा होगा लेकिन मां के रूप में हर घर में हर जगह पे वो भगवान मौजूद है इस बात को हमें बिल्कुल मानना पड़ेगा और मां का महत्व आज से नहीं है चाहे वेदों की बात हो चाहे पुराणों की बात हो चाहे एक आदम जमाने की बात हो आदम जमाने की जहां बात होती आदम और हवा के टाइम की बात हो कि जब एक प्रथम नागरिक के तौर पर आदम और हवा जब आए थे तब से ही मां का महत्व बिल्कुल है और मैं ये कहूं कि मां जगत जननी है तो भी कोई अतिशोक्ति नहीं होगी वास्तव में है मां एक कच्ची मिट्टी की तरह एक बच्चे के भविष्य का निर्माण करती है कुंभकार का उदाहरण जो घड़े बनाने वाले कुंभकार होते हैं उनसे एक उदाहरण लीजिए जो अंदर से हाथ रखता है और बाहर से थाप मारता है किसी ने भी घड़े बनाते हुए कभी देखा हो मिट्टी को किन्होंने बनाते हुए देखा हो ऊपर से ऐसे ऐसे मारता है और अंदर से उसको सहारा देता है वैसे ही मां करती है दिखावे के लिए हो सकता है कि मां कभी हमें डांट दे हमें चांटा भी लगा दे लेकिन मां उसी वक्त चंद सेकंड के बाद हमें वो प्यार दुलार भी देती है पिता जब डांटते हैं तो हमें मां का दुलार ही मिलता है जो हमें तुरंत फिर से शांत कर देता है लेकिन आज के इस वर्तमान परिस्थितियों में उस मां के महत्व को भुलाना नहीं होगा इस मदर्स डे पे मदर्स डे के मौके पर हमारे भारतवर्ष में विशेषकर स्थापित बुजुर्ग आश्रम उन पर मैं थोड़ी सी बात करना चाहूंगा कहने को तो हमारी सरकारी व्यवस्था ने कि बुजुर्ग आश्रम बनाए हैं अब बुजुर्ग आश्रम में कौन रहते हैं जरा सोचिए एक बार वे माता पिता रहते हैं जिनको अनाथ मान लिया गया है अनाथ माता पिता अरे क्यों सोच करके देखिए माता पिता कभी अनाथ होते हैं क्या और अधिकतर उन उनमें वे माए हैं पीछे एक सर्वे सामने आया था कि बुजुर्ग माता पिता जो बुजुर्ग आश्रमों में रह रहे हैं 69 परसेंट मां हैं 31 परसेंट वहां पिता हैं ऐसा क्यों अब मेरा ये मानना नहीं वहां पिता क्यों नहीं है मेरा ये मानना है कि जिस माँ बाप ने हमें जन्म दिया एक खूबसूरत जीवन हमें दिया वो माँ बाप की जगह बुजुर्ग आश्रमों में नहीं होने चाहिए बल्कि हमारे दिल में हमारे घर में होनी चाहिए हमारे से पहली जगह उनके साथ होनी चाहिए मैं एक मेरा खुद का उदाहरण बताता हूं बड़ा इमोशनल पल क्योंकि मैं खुशनसीब हूं कि आज जो भी हूं वो माँ की वजह से हूं लेकिन बदनसीबी ये है कि आज मेरे पास माँ नहीं है पिछले वर्ष चार मई को मैंने माँ को खोया है लेकिन माँ ने इस कदर मुझे तराशा है कि आज जैसे भी हैं उनकी वजह से हैं माँ ये बात सुनी थी कभी कि खुद गीले में सो करके हमें सूखे में सुलाती है लेकिन मैंने इसको बड़े करीब से देखा है बचपन जब अभाव में बीता माँ मजदूरी करती थी और हमारी उन सभी जायज नजायज मांगों को पूरा करती थी जिनके लिए हम सभी जिद करते थे तो मेरा ये मानना है मेरी माँ ही ऐसी नहीं बल्कि सब माए ऐसी होती हैं माँ सभी बिल्कुल एक समान होती है माँ के लिए जितने शब्द हैं उतने शब्द बिल्कुल कम हैं फिर यदि आज के हमारे इस मुख्य विषय पर आया जाए पब्लिक पावर एंड पॉलिटिक्स वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट 
roles and responsibilities chahe aam janta ho chahe satta ho ya rajniti ho mahila sashaktikaran ki baatein hoti hain kagzon mein hoti hai lekin jahan mahila sashaktikaran ki baatein lagu karne pe baat aati hain wahan drishya kuch aur hota hai mahila sashaktikaran par lambe chode bhashan bhi hote hain मेरे जैसे अनेकों वक्ता आकर के बोल बोल कर चले जाते हैं सरकारें भी लंबा चौड़ा दावा दावे करती हैं पीछे यदि मैं हमारी वर्तमान सरकार की बात करूं महिला सशक्तिकरण के लिए एक इमोशनल बात हमारे सामने आई थी उज्ज्वला योजना कि किसी भी महिला की आंखों में धुएं की वजह से आंसू नहीं आने चाहिए बिल्कुल सही बात है मैं प्रधानमंत्री जी की बात से बिल्कुल सहमत हूं लेकिन मेरी देश की सरकार से या पूरे विश्व की सरकारों से ये अनुरोध भी है कि अकेले धुएं की वजह से आंसू आंखों में नहीं आते मां की आंख में आंसू आने की वजह और भी बहुत है सरकारों को कहीं अपने दिल व अपनी फाइलों को कुरेद करके भी जरूर देखना चाहिए कि कहीं आपकी इन फाइलों के कागजों की वजह से उन चंद शब्दों की वजह से तो किसी माँ की आंखें नम ना है ऐसा कम से कम नहीं होना चाहिए क्योंकि मैं मां के इर्द गिर्द ही अपनी बात रख रहा हूं अब चूंकि मुझे पंद्रह मिनट का समय दिया गया था मैं मेरी बातें चंद शब्दों में निपटाते हुए अपना स्थान ग्रहण करूंगा मां के बारे में मेरी अंतिम चार लाइनें तुम एक गहरी छांव है अगर तो जिंदगी धूप है मां धरा पर कब कहा तुझसे कोई स्वरूप है मां अगर ईश्वर कहीं पर है उसे देखा कहा किसने धरा पर तो तू ही ईश्वर का रूप है मां धरा पर तो तू ही ईश्वर का रूप है मां सभी मातृशक्ति को मेरा नमन और आज के इस सेमिनार में जहां तक मैं देख रहा हूं मुख्य जो ग्रोसर मैंने देखा था उसमें पुरुष सिर्फ मैं हूं बाकी सारी मातृशक्ति है आप सभी को मेरा सलाम आप सभी को सैल्यूट और विशेषकर चीफ पेट्रोल जो तो हमारे डॉक्टर अरुणा आंचल जी और हमारे बाबा मस्तनाथ यूनिवर्सिटी की डॉक्टर अरुणा राव जी प्रो चांसलर क्योंकि आपके बिना इस कार्यक्रम की कल्पना करना असंभव था आप सभी मात्र शक्तियों को मेरा सलूट आईसीआरटी की तरफ से आप सभी को सलाम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सुशीला मैडम ओके नाउ आई इनवाइट कोमल डॉक्टर कोमल टू इंट्रोड्यूस नेक्स्ट स्पीकर गेस्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर कोमल टू आर रिस्पेक्टेड चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर अंजना राव मैम प्रो चांसलर बाबा मासनाथ यूनिवर्सिटी गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर डॉक्टर एस के शिंगमोर चेयरमैन आईसीआरटी कीनोट स्पीकर डॉक्टर पुष्पांजलि सिंह एम आई ऑडिबल मैम यस यू आर ऑडिबल ओके ओके गुड इवनिंग टू आर रिस्पेक्टेड चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर अंजना राव मैम प्रो चांसलर बाबा मसनाथ राज सांगवान चीफ पेट्रोन प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर अरुणाचल मैम एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर of ICERT dean and coordinator dr sonam bisla ma'am dr monica ma'am and program moderator dr shushila shep and all our attendees i dr komal rani welcome you all in this one day international webinar now i am honored to in fight dr pushpanjali singh 
Ashley Singh holds a PhD degree in chemistry from university uh, from Kanpur University in the area of chemical kinetics. Since 2006, she is ex actively engaged in field of chemical. Ma'am has more than 15 years of experience in teaching and mentoring. She has also worked at Ambo University, Ethiopia, and other Apex Institutes. Ma'am interested interest areas are environmental sciences, industrial safety, engineering chemistry. Ma'am has published more magazines uh, at national and international level. And Mem also presented papers in national and international conferences and webinars. Over past 15 years, she has been teaching variety of chemistry UG students and engineering students. We know that, Mem, you are a terrific speaker and our attendees attendees and delegates will gain much for, from your talk. Without taking so much time of yours, I would... Pushpanjali, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Uh, yes, ma'am. And visible, I think. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, a very good evening to all of you. Honorable Dr. S.K. Singhmar, sir, Dr. Anjana Rao, ma'am, Professor Aruna Anchal, ma'am, and our valuable key guests, guest speakers and ICRT team. I, Dr. Pushpanli Singh, is congr uh, congratulating the ICRT team and Baba Masnath University for jointly organizing this one-day international webinar on this uh, this topic, public power and politics, women, women empowerment, roles and its responsibility. I'm honored that they have invited me to speak here. Thank you very much. So, because the time is very less, so I have to put the light on this uh, topic. So let me uh, let me share the screen. Is it ma'am visible screen? Yes ma'am, it's visible. Okay ma'am. Uh, first of all, I would like to actually say happy Mother's Day to all wonderful uh, mothers of the world. And then I'm going to start my this topic, significant role of education in women empowerment. Actually, we are keep listening uh, from the long time that uh, please don't say these things to women because she will spread. So don't say. I think we, everybody have uh, listened that. So I would like to say, please inform the woman and transform the world. Because if whatever you will say, uh, it, will, it will spread here and there. So I will start my uh, this topic with this quote, please inform the woman and transform the world. So actually I have uh, divided my speak in two parts. In the first part, I'm going to put some, uh, throw some light on this woman empowerment concept of empowerment, challenges for the women, and the state, status of women, women empowerment in India, and government initiative taken for the women. And the second part, we are going to uh, uh, see the role of education, women education status, barriers for the women education, need of women education in the women empowerment, and what principle we can use to empower the women, key function of education in empowerment of a woman, and lot many facts about the women and education and I have some suggestions also. So, uh, just a minute. Actually, what is a woman empowerment? It's a nothing actually, it's referred to the process of increasing the woman access to control over the strategic life choices that affect them and access to the opportunities that allow them fully to realize their capacities. Actually, as per my own view, we are the powers. And this is without Shakti, she will be shav hai. 
तो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक हियर अबाउट द वी आर गोइंग टू एम्पावर द पावर्स so as it is uh, written here the access to opportunities and allow them fully to realize their capacity means sometimes like ji hanuman ji we are we are uh, we are keep praying aap bahut shaktishali ho please help me so something like that because we are already with the power this is my my own opinion about that so this is a women empowerment and uh, what is the concept of women empowerment it's a very simple just a minute the concept of empowerment in a very simple way empowerment is a process which help the people to people to get control of their lives through raising the awareness taking action and working in our other uh, in order to exercise greater control empowerment is a kind of a feeling that activate the psychological energy to accomplish one's goal that is said by indra sen in 1999 and as per the surekha surekha rao and uh, rajamanna uh, women empowerment is a multi dimensional process which should enable the women or group of women to realize their full identity and power in all spheres of a life it consists of a greater access of a knowledge and resources and greater autonomy in the decision making to enable them to have a greater ability to plan their lives or have their greater control over circumstances that influences their life and free from shocks improve imposed on them for the custom beliefs and practices now there are the challenges for the women what are the challenges for the women in the society women are more than substance first we have to understand that that we are not a substance since ages and even today in the present scenario we can we face lot many issues and challenges like lack of education because in the majority of females are still deprived with their basic right of education because they are forced to look after household work by the parents because they are saying that you please you you do this work your brother will uh, go to the school and like a female forticide forticide that this is a uh, irrespective of till where we are uh, where our society and nations has grown still in many areas female feticide is still practiced for which our government has also taking a number of corrective measures to control it we reach on the moon but still female feticide is not uh, going to control somewhere it is happening actually the third challenge for the women is a family responsibility from the very early age girls are expected to look after family and bounded to restrict themselves within the four boundaries of their home like and the uh, this is also a pro challenge for the women gender discrimination males are given more importance in every important decision making than females and about the socialist uh, this is also actually a challenge for the women social status female have to struggle to make their appearance felt in the society they are fundamentally and socially socially deprived of their right like a status of women empowerment status of women empowerment in the india with the change in the thought and better degree of awareness people are coming forward for their contribution toward the development do, de development of the women a number of social workers ngos edu educators along with the governments are initiating for the enhancement of women status they are being educated and are more conscious for their right to be gained like what government is taking initiative for that uh, for the women empowerment government has started a work for the women empowerment since late few decades but did that uh, women empowerment has come up in a action and have speed up only in a since last two decades like a number of programs are being conducted nationwide to promote them few among them are mentioned below like the mahila samriddhi yojana that has been uh, started in october 1993 indra mahila yojana in 1995 
Women Entrepreneur uh, Development Program, given top priority in uh, 1997 to 1998. Support to training and employment program for women, that is also called a step. Hostels for working women, integrated child protection schemes are there. In 2009 to 2010, it has been started. Dhana Lakshmi Yojana in 2008, government has started that. Prime Minister Rojgar Yojana, Mahila Samiti Yojana, SIDBI's Mahila Uddan, Uddyam Nidhi Mahila Vikas Nidhi. Lot many initiative has been done by the government for the women empowerment. Now we'll come on the part two, means main, my main topic on which, because we all are educationalists, so we can spark the women empowerment by the education. Because if women will be educated, the world automatically will be educated. So we all know this saying actually, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru once says, one says that if you educate a man, you will educate only an individual. However, if you will educate a woman, you will educate the whole family. Because women empowered means Mother India empowered or the whole world will be empowered. Now the role of education continued. Education is considered as a milestone for the women empowerment because it enables them to respond to the challenges to confer their traditional role and changes their lives. Increases access to educa education, not withstanding. Gender discrimination is still going on, still persists in India, and a lot more needs to be done in a field of women's education in India. Even not only in India, even outside of country also. In Africa, I have seen by my own eyes, even uh, in the European country also, I have visited not like India, but still everywhere the women are, are getting the same position, same problem they are having actually. Women have so much explored potential which have never been tapped as education is a both an input and output and input of a human development. Educational equity will ensure enabling the uh, entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial development. What is a woman's education status? If we'll talk about the women's education status. So the constitutional directive to provide free and compulsory education for all children up to the age of 14 years has been remained unfulfilled till now. Because the women's are, whatever it is coming, the women's are forced to please, uh, if there was an economical problem, financial problem, whatever is there, we are the uh, the families are stopping first women education actually in the villages in the town and educational experts admit that his failure is mainly due to the slow pro progress of education among girls the literacy and educational level are increasing for the indian women still there is a gap between male and female literacy rate <laughs> What are the barriers for the women education? We'll find a lot many barriers are there. In the Indian families, especially rural areas, girl's child, their girl children plays a role for the second mother for soldiering, soldiering the responsibility of a household work such as looking after the sibling, fetching water, collecting wood, cleaning and cooking that, discour and dis that discourages the girl's child to go to the school. The second social evil is the bonded labor system, which quite in, in discouraging the phenomena, which is saying that barriers for the girls' education for the underprivileged families of washermen and agricultural labor. They are not actually, they are not uh, giving education for the, for the girl child. What is the need for the women education in the education the women empowerment actually the women empowerment education uh, this just phenomena this term came the concept of women empowerment is a recent one this uh, this came the first year of a new millennium 2001 was declared as the women empowerment year education of a woman leads to leads to a better family and ultimately an ideal society and to progressive nation because the family then the society and the nation will be 
will be improved. New UNESCO data proves that education transformed the development. It says, it says if all the children enjoyed equal access to the education per capita, income would increase by 23% over the 40 years. But we are not doing this. Like UNESCO, the new analysis proves that education empowers women. Means all the educated girls and young women are more likely to know their rights and to have the confidence to claim uh, claim them. Means if they know what is their right, then they can they can claim. But we are not educating them. They, even a lot many women are there, a lot many girl child are there who doesn't know that uh, what is our right and what is not. The education promote the tolerance actually. Education help the people to understand help the women to understand the democracy, promote the tolerance and trust that underpin it and motivates people to participate in the political life of their societies. The, this is also the analysis of a UNESCO. The education equality improves the job opportunities and increase economic growth. If all the children had equal access of education, productivity gains would boost economic growth. Education is the, this is also the analysis that the education is the part of the solution to environmental problem. People or women with the more education are more likely to use energy and water more efficiently and to recycle the household waste. The educating women avoid the early marriages. If education is provided to more number of women, it will be helpful in avoided, avoiding the child marriages. These are the analysis which has been done by the UNESCO. And now the education, how the education is going to enhance the woman empowerment. So this, these are the way by which the education can improve or enhance the woman empowerment. Like education make her an opportunity to choose the career career which is best suited for her means she will decide or she will decide that what I have to do and what not to do if she has an idea about the stream about the subject about the if she have a well um, educated every woman has got her own aspiration which may be high or low but education helps to maintain a balanced aspiration knowledge knowing her interest, ability and potential which further help her to choose the correct field of the work. Means if she will learn, she will educate it, then she will be, she will uh, move through the critical thinking and she will be able to understand, okay, this is a good for me, this is not good for me. For, for me. If I will do this uh, job, then it will be, it will be okay for me or not. If, or my circumstances are like that, my, my, uh, my stage is this, so I have to choose this job or I have to go for this jo that job. Education helps in the balanced personality development by giving due weight to the various aspects of personality. Not only financial support education is doing, this is also improving the personality of any and every woman actually. Because if woman will be educated, she will be confident. And the confidence will increase the personality, enhance the personality. Education of women also plays an important role in teaching her expression of a feeling or through effective communication, which can solve the disputes and adjustment of problems of any level. Like educated women is a guiding the light for the children, for the family members, society and nation. She knows how to have the have the happy family and balance and happy relation with the other means with the society with the family. How to balance? How to tolerate? Uh, how much we have to tolerate? How to balance the family life? How to balance in the society? How to balance in the country or in the nation? Education gives or empowers a woman to become a strong physically by giving her knowledge about the sports, exercise health related aspects and good physical health, this will definitely benefit her mental health. Because if physically she will be okay, then mentally also. 
which is going to perform well and now actually there are seven uh, principles what i i found several so there the seven principles are given globally to empower the women the principles to empower the women in the workplace marketplace and community so uh, these are given the principle emphasize the business case for the corporate action to promote gender equality and women um, empowerment the take action across all seven principles the principle one is establish high level corporate leadership for the gender equality the principle two is treat all the women and men fairly at work respect and support the human rights and non discrimination should be there principle 3 ensure the health safety and well being of all women and men worker principle 4 to empower the women promote the education of women training and professional development for the women means there should be the kind of a training and professional professional uh, development program kind of a ftp which which should improve the women education and women women is still actually principle 5 implement enterprise development supply chain and marketing practices that empowers women principle 6 the promote the equality through community initiatives and advocacy and the last principle to empower the women is principle 7 measure and publicly report on progress to achieve gender equality means everywhere they are saying the gender equality equality must be there for the women empowerment now lot many constitutional provisions special laws and national policies are there which support which supports the women empowerment like the importance of women as uh, as a important human resource was recognized by the constitution of india which not only accord the equality of women but also empowered the state as a number of articles and constitutions are given repeated toward the socio economic development of a woman and participation in decision making like the article 14 actually it's a very uh, small it's uh, article 14 in this it is it is said the man and woman to have equal right and opportunities in the political economical and social spheres article 15 this, this is also supporting the women prohib prohibits the discrimination against any citizens citizens means women and men means there should be equality there should be equality any citizens on the ground of religion race sex and caste etc article 16 it is saying the equality of opportunities in the matter of the public appointment for all citizens article 39 it is given equal pay for the equal work for the both men and women it should not be like that that man a man is getting more salary for that uh, job and women are not getting because the most of the time i think we all have suffered with that we have, we have experience like that article 42 the state to make provision for the ensuring the first and human condition of work and maternity relief um uh, this uh, this is all there is also some acts are also there because some uh, some uh, acts are also given to empower the women like hindu succession acts 1956 it was given which provides for the women the right to parental property means now women can also take the property right on the father's property the dowry prohibition acts in 1961 which declares the taking of dowry an unlawful activity and thereby prevents the exploitation of a woman equal remuneration act 1976 it has been launched which provides the payment of a remuneration equal with the man for work of equal value the medical termination of pregnancy act 1971 it it is also empowering the woman which legalizes the legalizing the abortion conceding the right of a woman to go for the abortion on the ground of physical and mental health health means if, if she is, is not feeling to deliver whatever the condition she can go for the termination of the pregnancy 
the criminal law amendment act that has been come came in 1983 which seeks to stop the various types of crimes against women now the few facts are there about the women and about the women and education that we all should know the worldwide 5 million more girls out of primary schools compared to boys canada has the most educated female workforce in the world followed by norway and then south korea the first number is a canada in the second there is a norway and in the third in the in the case of female workforce the third is a third number is a south korea the countries with the highest percentage of women women uh, politicians go globally are rwanda cuba and then it came united arab emirates men men are near, nearly five times more likely than women to earn the highest salary in britain and uh, this is also the fact for the for the women the first school for the girls in the europe were opened in a france in 1868 and in the russia in 1764 64 means russia was the first who has opened a, which country has opened the first school for the girl child then after that france has taken this action this is a fact about the women education in 1678 elena coronaro piscopia is the she was the uh, first woman ever to awarded a phd degree so first phd degree has been given to elena coronaro piscopia and the women make up just 28% of a workforce in the field related of science technology engineering and maths we can say this uh, s for science t for technology e for engineering and m for maths so stem so we are still the women are not uh, very much forwarded they are still back only 28% of the workforce over the last 20 years women business over the own business owners in the usa have increased by 114% and the last fact what i found there are miss what i have uh, this is not uh, actually uh, what i have collected that is uh, there are 706 million illiterate people in the world and women make up more than two third of them means still the women ratio is high i have some suggestion for that like uh, to empower the women as for my opinion motivate all the girls and women belong to rural area and give training to the to polishing their activity means time to time there should be kind of a training for pro, uh, programs which will polish the women means there should be the personality development kind of a course that kind of a different kind of a skill development type of a course training should be there because if women will learn that she she will be automatic, automatically actually empowered the power will be empowered to make the women women aware she should encourage in every field arrange the dif different kind of a training workshop and courses for grooming of a girls and women for enhancing self esteem and self confidence for every woman should have the liberty to every woman women should have the liberty to live her life according to their choice give chance to select the area according to their choices like education employment and health the change in the mentality of a people <clears throat> mentality of a people who still neglect the women means we should we should work we should try to convince them please change your mentality towards the women there should not be neglect uh, kind any kind of a neglection should not be the women should not be neglect they should also get the equal importance like a man the word empowerment is not the word empowerment is not only used in the books and papers as uh, flowery language but somewhere in the society it is still not used practically and truly so we should use it we should uh, uh, practically apply this we should uh, actually respect the women then only we can empower the family and empower the nation and empower the society and empower the country thank you so much i think within time i have finished that if any queries anything
thank you pushpanjali ma'am you have done a wonderful presentation here and we got lot of information with factual data that you have presented uh, well uh, very beautifully you have explained so many aspects of uh, today's topic you have highlighted uh, the very important thing which i uh, which the first line i have been impressed that is women are more than a substance what a wonderful line which explains so many things in uh, few you can say only few words which constitute a uh, line uh, thank you pushpanjali ma'am thank you so much ma'am and so uh, you have also highlighted uh, uh, that education where we are lacking so many aspects related to the women mahila samriddhi yojana mm -hmm. and uh, some other other projects uh, which are uh, governments of the different countries are trying to implement women status you have highlighted need of women empowerment uh, is being impressively you have explained by your ppts as well as you have also highlighted that uh, in 2001 the millennium year you can say the women empowerment year has been celebrated since then education is not only acting as a tool but it it uh, a beautiful word you have also added that is promote the tolerance means women education enhance the peace and making the society much more peaceful increasing the economical growth because whatever you are teaching your first teacher is your mother so so many things the child is able to grow him or herself it is a root which imbibed the nutrition from their home actually so education is very much necessary to widen the horizon of the people you have also highlighted principle to power the women gender equality and non discrimination is an essential thing which is to be integrated to the today's world and you have also mentioned several constitutions provisions and in that one uh, one i want to also highlight that you have uh, you have uh, written that human working conditions required to be uh, dealt with equality so related with that i would like to add a, a wonderful uh, you can say at uh, 20 years more than 20 years earlier you might already have uh, somebody have heard that uh, there is a there is a tournament wimbledon in that the male were given much more uh, uh, much more pay to their uh, sports while uh, females in the wimbledon they were not not provided with the equal wages so for that at that time the female uh, raises their voice and uh, and uh, for from the next to next year it was uh, now uh, tried right, equality is being uh, added to the sports also so uh, you have also also explained the stem that is scientific technology uh, and mathematics engineering and uh, uh, 706 electoral members throughout the worldwide uh, you have also suggested how to integrate the how to how to enhance the woman power to the society different religion have different their different beliefs and faith so uh, wonderfully you have explained pushpanjali ma'am thank you for thank you with uh, staying with us and presenting this beautiful powerpoint presentation on today's topic uh, now i would like to invite dr monica faculty of science thank you so much for the stage may i leave yeah thank you ma'am uh thank you so much uh, dr sushila ma'am uh, namaskar everyone i am dr monica chahar from faculty of sciences and i would like to say happy mothers day to our honorable chief guest dr anjana rao ji to chancellor baba masnath university rohtak to dr anachal ji director women study center bmu dr s k singhmar chairman icrt Dr Pushpanjali Singh honorable member ICRT and to invited speaker captain Geetika Singh from Indian Veteran Association Brisbane Australia and to miss Saima uh, Parvez executive director public relation ICRT and Dr Raj Sangwan ji honorable member ICRT and director RA group of institution today as you all know we are celebrating mothers day by organizing a international seminar so 
for making this event more valuable it is now my great pleasure to introduce captain geetika singh from indian veteran association brisbane australia which is our invited guest speaker on one day international online seminar on the occasion of mothers day on public power and politics women empowerment roles and responsibilities she got commissioned into elite indian army in 2004 making an achievement of being the first ever lady officer from her town narwana haryana an alumnus of punjab university chandigarh geetika did her schooling from narwana and pursued her graduation in history honors from mcm dav college chandigarh after completing her training from rta chennai she got posted as a first ever lady officer of her unit in high insurgency area in jammu and kashmir taking up on all the challenges she accomplished all the assignments given to her under different levels of appointments she also handled high profile international delegations from various countries as a protocol and liaison officers giving her an ample opportunity to grow in her career in 2009 giving up on her career and prioritizing family life she voluntarily took retirement from the army to move to australia with her husband taking a long break from career and raising a family of two sons and helping her husband along with carrying out duties of a mother and a wife she entered the corporate world 8 years ago while being in australia she always stayed connected with indian community and participates in different community events keeping the rich heritage of indian culture alive in and around her she is an active member of gopio that means global organization of people of indian origin brisbane not only she is an active ambassador of cultural diaspora but also representing indian veterans association Brisbane and actively organizing and participating in the annual Anzac Day parade. Really, ma'am, you are a superwoman. So now I would like to call Captain Gitika Singh Ji to present an inspirational speech for the One Day International online webinar on the occasion of Mother's Day on public power and politics, women empowerment, roles and responsibility. Please welcome. Captain Gitika Singh Ji, with a big round of applause. Welcome, ma'am. Gitika, ma'am, are you there? Have you joined? Thank you so much, uh, Monica Ji. thank you ma'am first of all happy mothers day to all the women there and also to the men who has women in their life and i'm sure that every human being has had a mother not only human beings i i will i believe even um there are mothers in uh, animals and in nature so every a uh, single being who has a power to nurture i wish um happy mothers day to all of them um my sincere regards to um dr seema dr seema dr rao uh, dr anchal and uh, um thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity um, to uh, present my views on uh, this very special day hope i would be able to share some of my insight about women today i heard uh, dr pushpanjali singh um, a very elaborate and uh, in depth studies about the uh, empowerment of women uh, where she uh mentioned how education is an important aspect in empowering the women 
it was uh, a very great lecture and uh, very good uh, elaborate information uh, thank you so much for all uh, the work you have done um, pushpanjali ji uh, ma'am um, it was wonderful i have not done thank you so as much ma'am thank you would have done um, but uh, i may i i may beg to differ uh, with the opinion of empowerment so uh i believe aaj ke din um, the men around me would excuse me if they don't agree with my words but i believe in a different concept i i strongly do not believe in empowerment empowerment is a narrative which is been started um so uh, if we if if i uh, beg to uh, not agree with the empowerment why is so um empowerment why do we need empowerment empowerment is only needed when there is some some oppression there is some suppression so we need to accept if we need to empower the root has to be has an oppression so that something is oppressed and we need to empower i believe um, everyone agrees on this point so when i uh when i when we say women empowerment i do not agree uh so i will start uh with the quote um nari hu narayani hu nari hu narayani hu mamta roopi sagar hu shakti ka diya hua shakti ka ek roop hu जब वुमेन ऑलरेडी शक्ति का दिया हुआ एक शक्ति रूप है तो उसको आपको सशक्त करने की जरूरत क्यों आ गई ऐसा क्या हुआ कि आप वुमेन को सशक्ति वुमेन स्त्री के सशक्तिकरण की बात करने लगे सो so, uh, if we go back into uh, anthropology or uh, history women was never oppressed so there came a time let's not go about it who oppressed and how who suppressed how did it started but uh, a woman who's always been so powerful as powerful that she only has the power to create a life so if she only holds the power to create the life she also holds the power to create the life she wants she does not need anyone else to create a life for her she has all the power within herself she is as powerful that she has the power of preservance the power of empathy the power of care the power of wisdom the power of nurturance the power of warmth the power of devotion the power of sacrifices so why do we need to empower her so these are the narratives to be started in the society after the operation abhi um sorry i i would use english and hindi mix uh kyunki mujhe lagta hai ki that is the common language nowadays to be understood kuch kuch english ke shabd hote hain jo weight carry karte hain language kaise matter karti hai uh, uske bare mein thoda sa bata deti hu jo mera manna hai kuch hindi ke shabd hote hain kyunki wo hamari matribhasha rahi hai humne usi se apne astitv ko janam diya hai uh, to kahi kahi wo uh, wazan jo hota hai wo hindi ke shabdon mein hota hai kahi kahi wazan jo hota hai wo english ke shabdon mein aata hai kyunki as we evaluate uh, as we went through the evolution process we learned those uh, concepts in english so i hope that makes sense so i will use both the language wherever possible main ye uh, koshish karti hu ki main do ya teen bhashaon ka istemal karu uh, so अगर हम स्त्री के इतिहास पर जाएं, लीव अलोन जैसे डॉक्टर सीमा जी ने बात करी एडम और ईव की उस जमाने में जाएं तो क्लियर है कि क्या पावर थी वुमेन की है और वो पावर कहीं गई नहीं है 
वो अभी भी है और फिर अगर हम रिसेंट uh, पास्ट में जाए इंडिया के पास्ट को ले लीजिए तो फ्रॉम क्वींस टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स वी हैव सीन सच पावरफुल वीमेन दे बिन सो पावरफुल दैट आई वुड कोट मे बी इंदिरा गांधी इफ यू टेक इंदिरा गांधी एज अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैव यू सीन एज कम्पिटेट ए प्राइम मिनिस्टर अदर देन इंदिरा गांधी शी फेस्ड वॉर so bravely so strongly she was the only prime minister who created a country who made a um, um, a biggest um, surrender in the world biggest documented surrender in the world then if you go to um, aruna safali kalpana chawla justice An- uh, anna chandi mother teresa the list is uh, unending lata mangeshkar so uh, sarojini naidu where do we stop uh, we have a big list of powerful women from the very beginning so now the concepts comes those these are these were the powerful women who were famous how about the women who were uh, considered as housewives or um, jo स्त्रियां घर पे रहकर और जो पढ़ी लिखी नहीं थी जो पढ़ी नहीं सो डू यू थिंक दैट वीमेन नेवर गोट एजुकेटेड यस फॉर्मल एजुकेशन वॉज वॉज नॉट प्रोवाइडेड एज मच एज टू मैन बट इट वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट प्रोवाइडेड टू द मैन वुमेन वॉज द वॉज नॉट ओनली जेंडर who were deprived of the education education was deprived of from the many class so we that is a totally different uh, scenario but women was educated at home more than a man always she has more experience she had more learnings she has the privilege i would say um privilege in this guys i can say so um so again comes that um what what made her um come into a condition that all of sudden in the society we came on to a con- concept of empower- empowering that woman <clears throat> um i hope um, everybody is with me um, so far okay um, so um so abhi uh, maine baat kari powerful women ki ab uh, i would get a critique that you are talking about the powerful men women who were privileged who had like indira gandhi has a privilege she was daughter of prime minister so she got an opportunity and uh, she became right understand how were the common women uh, they were uh, not as intelligent no that's not true these were the women who made the famous women famous i hope uh, everybody is understanding so if if i am uh, if suppose indira gandhi is famous today she is famous not only because what she has done she is famous because of all of us she is famous because she she has a, a feminism um, quality and all the women made her famous so um how about uh, when we talk about um a common woman uh, what role she plays um and how is she powerful what power she holds and uh, how is it possible that uh, uh, she she should be looked upon as a powerful woman so well i start um how about the essential job of balancing the society balancing the structure of the society if women uh, was so powerful uh, usme jan dene ki shakti hai palne ki shakti hai pyar karne ki shakti hai sab emotions hain to aisa kya hua ki uh, women was oppressed or uh, women uh, stayed back women uh, were looked uh, were not looked upon 
they were always um, taken for granted their rights were not met or something like that so um, again i would say the woman herself was responsible for it to begin with uh, so why um, the women started taking a step behind to bring the balance in the society so female powerlessness is made self preservation in di disguise a women's intelligence was a man's deception it is not that a woman was not um, like i uh, बहुत हम सुनते थे ढोर गवार पशु शुद्र नारी ये सब ताड़न के अधिकारी मुझे आज तक समझ में नहीं आया कि इसमें सच में कुछ कुछ इसके बारे में बायस्ड है कि नहीं इसमें ये नहीं ताड़न के अधिकारी का मतलब ये नहीं था कि हमने बट मुझे लग रहा है कि अब उस फ्रेज को चेंज कर दिया गया उसका मीनिंग चेंज कर दिया गया है लेकिन कुछ दो दशक पहले जब हम स्कूल में थे तब तब यही बताया गया था कि ढोर गवा शुद्र पशु नारी ये सब ताड़न के अधिकारी जहां ताड़न का मतलब होता था कि आ, उसको ओप्रेस किया जाए शी इज ऑब्जेक्ट टू बी ओप्रेस्ड बट आई थिंक आई हैव सीन एंड द नेरेटिव हैव चेंज नाउ सो दैट फ्रेज हैज बीन रीमोडिफाइड दैट इट वॉज नॉट deciphered or it was not decoded properly so tadan does not mean oppression it was um, some something other thing so anyhow so uh, i i never agreed uh, with that quote again so uh, when we talk about the powers of women i have said uh, preservance she has the um, power to create life to nurture life and uh, where do we see this and one more thing like i i would i would give my own example own experience i i'm sure we all have the experiences uh, of the powers of women so uh, i have never seen my grandmother dadi meri uh, par uh, i have heard the story about my grandmother during the partition she has traveled alone uh, from haryana to lahore herself no one uh, with her she uh, because my grandfather was in military or something something like that she, he was in lahore so my grandmother wanted to take some there was some festival and she she filled the um, bada lunch box and she traveled by herself by train when there was partition actually happening so can you imagine the uh, uh, that uh, she needs to be empowered no then uh, in the modern life i i take the example of from my mother um she traveled to the foreign land all by herself and she's she's not um she's not a graduate i would say even a um of a graduate or educated person uh, traveling to a foreign land for the first time would be nervous but my mother she traveled alone what was the force what was the power uh, that um, that could uh, make them to do that one the power within themselves they are genetically made strong when i talk about genetically that means genetically is that they have strong genes uh, it's not about physicality so um, there is a science behind genetically and physicality let's not go into it so uh, the other thing um ask yourself uh as a child who you saw first uh who who heard you first uh was there anyone with whom you could be totally yourself and whom um you could trust your heart responses and speak your soul responses अपना दिल अपनी आत्मा कोई था आपके जीवन में सबसे पहला इंसान जिससे आप शेयर कर सके जिसके जिसके साथ आप सबसे ज्यादा सेफ महसूस कर सके आई बिलीव फॉर एवरी वन इट्स देर मदर सो वी स्ट्रोंगली सी दैट अ मदर हैड दैट स्ट्रोंग पावर अ वुमेन हैड दैट स्ट्रोंग पावर ऑलवेज बीन देर 
the other other women are, I I wanted to really mention about it that um, uh, um, in the United um, United Declaration of Human Rights, um, I think Hansa Mehta was the woman who changed um, or who made. Uh, the declaration um, article one to be changed where it was said, all men are born equal and free. She changed the phrase to all human beings are born free and equal, right? So again, there was a woman, a strong woman who had a foot to get the uh, human rights, which is a big, uh, like it's a worldwide declaration, United Declaration of Human Rights, which is uh, recognized worldwide in each and every country. She made the first article of it changed. So she had the power. We all have the power within ourselves. So uh, once again, let's, let's come to bring the balance. So uh, when we say not every woman, not every woman can be famous, not every woman can be Indira Gandhi or Lata Mangeshkar or Sarojini Naidu or uh, uh, um, Hansa Mehta, then what, what about uh, the women like us? Okay, if we are also privileged women, we can say that we, we have a, a war, like we have a platform to speak, we have, a, we have made career, but um, let's go to the housewives how about their say what role they play are they empowered so um again uh, the society the government has changed the narrative that women needs this the women we are giving the gas connections to women in i'm talking in context of indian governments so kabhi women ko gas connection de diya kabhi women ko uh, what they get, uh, they made the toilets and sanitary napkins and this and that. So uh, these things do not empower women. They give the facilities to the whole society. It's 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 a it's a facility to women to to be tagged to be labeled to women, but it's a facility to be provided in the whole society, right? Abhi uh, Dr. Simaji jaise bol rahe the ki uh, kisi bhi ma ki so I remember not only the mother, even the children, even the men used to have aasu jab ghar mein dhuha utta tha. I remember uh, going to our maternal village. Um, haveli mein pura dhuha ho jata tha. Hum bachche bhi aak uh, se ro rahe hote the aur men bhi ro rahe hote the. So that, that, that's not on, on, alone the women. Yes, she might be 30% um, more exposed to the um, uh, smoke. But uh, then men and kids, they were also exposed. So that's the facility to the uh, society as whole, not only to the women. Uh, our, our duty, um, uh, I think I'm running out of the time, so I might wind up. Uh, I can go, uh, go on and on, uh, but I know that I'm time bound. Um, so. One narrative, again, I would like to include in um, today's scenario that uh, we are, we as a women need to uh, inculcate the values we genetically have in us. We also have a responsibility to keep ourselves uh, empowered, to keep ourselves, um, have that power and to know about that power that we have. So, जो हमारी शक्ति है वो हमें जानने की जरूरत है और उस शक्ति के लिए हर औरत को आगे बढ़ने के लिए कोई प्लेटफॉर्म की जरूरत नहीं है एक माँ हमारी माँ क्या पावरफुल नहीं थी इफ शी डिड नॉट वर्क हर हर पावर एम्पावरमेंट को फाइनेंशियल एस्पेक्ट से देखना जरूरी नहीं है मेरे लिए पावरफुल होना कंटेंट होना है हाउ कंटेंट यू फील uh, I have seen uh, women or men, uh, they, they, um, they rose to the success in a way that uh, um, they even never imagined for themselves. But at the end of the day, do they feel content? Do they have that satisfaction feel? Can they sleep peacefully? Can they contribute to the uh, society? Can, can they uh, contribute? Can they be satisfied that they have raised the next generation in a peaceful manner? And um, their wealth or their uh, fame 
would not be a, um, a detriment in uh, their children or next generation's life? Can they be sure of? I'm sure they are not. But a women like our mothers or grandmothers who inculcate the values, the values of being strong, the values of strong doesn't mean that you have to fight every time. Strong means strong within. You never uh, accept um, an oppression. That is how you feel strong about yourself. Strong does not always mean uh, making a career. Raising a family is the biggest responsibility to the society, to the nature. So if a woman is um, raising a family, bringing a life um, for me, that is uh, considered to be the highest role she's been playing. So uh, once again, uh, for women, apni uh, ek last quote bolna chaungi ki guzarish to asma se hai, guzarish to asma se hai, ma to dhara hai, sab kuch apne aap hi de degi. To ma ko hum dhara se compare karte hain, jo balance karti hai, jo me hold karti hai, aur ma ka matlab har nari shakti. तो नारी शक्ति के पास इतना कुछ है देने को कि वो सब कुछ दे देगी और हमें देते रहना चाहिए ये भी हमारी पावर है सो so, इसी के साथ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी और आप लोगों को एक बार फिर मातृ दिवस की बहुत-बहुत शुभकामनाएं हर दिवस मातृ दिवस रहे और आप सब लोगों को अपने अपने रोल में एक कंटेंटनेस की भावना बनी रहे अपने आप पर गर्व महसूस होता रहे ये मेरी कामना है थैंक यू और ऑस्ट्रेलिया में अभी रात के ऑलमोस्ट 11 बज चुके हैं तो आप सब लोगों को मेरी शुभ रात्रि पर आई विल स्टे देयर एज लॉन्ग एज आई कैन वी वेक अप अराउंड 5 ओक्लॉक एवरी डे इन द मॉर्निंग दैट्स द नॉर्मल रूटीन इन फॉरेन कंट्रीज सो यू वेक अप 5 ओक्लॉक यू स्लीप बाय 8 ओक्लॉक um that uh, primitive culture of india so we'll talk about uh, that also sometime uh, but uh, there are exceptional days jahan pe hum jage rehte hain aur wo kai baar zaruri hota hai aur aaj wo ek din hai jahan main aap logon ke vichar sunungi aur usse apne aap ko i i would feel that uh, i have achieved something thank you so much Thank you, Gitika, ma'am, for presenting your views on uh, the empowerment, how the woman has been empowered herself, can empower herself, and required to be empowered herself in uh, contributing the society to make her presence, the remarkable presence. On, uh, the, on the view that uh, you have present a sentence, a verse you can say from the Tulsidas, Goswami Tulsidas have explained in few lines, that is Chopai, ढोल गवार शुद्र पशु नारी ये सब सकल ताड़न के अधिकारी सकल ताड़ना के अधिकारी मैम यू हैव वेरी वेल रेजिस दिस इश्यू आई वांट टू आल्सो हाइलाइट दिस वर्सेस फ्रॉम द रामचरित मानस इट्स इंटरप्रिटेशन हैज एक्चुअली बीन चेंज्ड रीजन बीइंग वाज दैट इनिशियली इट वाज दैट व्हिच इज बीन नाउ एक्सेप्टेड बाय द सोसाइटी इट इज दैट इट द सिनेरियो वाज दैट when uh, rama was worshiping the ocean in order to go for uh, go for the uh, in in his uh, attending the goal for sita that is uh, at that time he was worshiping some uh, ocean and, he, and the ocean was denying for giving the path over himself in that aspects in uh, that context tulsi das ji has explained this point ki dhol gawar those are uneducated illiterate shudra means not by caste by their varn or karm shudra and pashu nari those are animals and females females in that sense is not taken as negative but uh, in that aspect as the as the uh, uh, feminism in that aspect it was uh, explained 
कि ये सब जो है ताड़न के अधिकारी यानी कि इनको अगर ये मानते नहीं है देन दे आर दे आर रिक्वायर टू बी रिव्यू बट द रियल इंटरप्रिटेशन इज दैट कि भैया समुद्र के कंटेक्स्ट में कहा गया था कि समुद्र नहीं मानता और और ढीट व्यक्ति जब नहीं मानता है चाहे वो ढीट नारी हो ढीट गवार व्यक्ति हो अनएजुकेटेड हो या ढीट पशु हो वो सब ताड़न के अधिकारी होते हैं इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट इट वॉज एक्सप्लेन सो थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू गीतिका मैम फॉर स्टेइंग विद अस एंड गिविंग योर प्रेशियस टाइम एट इवन इलेवन ओ क्लॉक नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट आवर आवर very respective and cute ma'am sonam bisla ma'am so that she could invite our next speaker miss saima parvez so sonam ma'am you are invited here to take over the stage and uh, to invite the executive director of public relation icert saima parvez thank you ma'am from myself thank you dr thank you good evening again i dr sonam bisla want to introduce ms saima parvez ma'am she is from greater noida currently working on the post of teaching assistant at iimc new delhi work from one year as a professor at amity university manisha she taught development communication and new media to student of bachelor and masters level given a guest lecture in jims vasant kun she worked as a public relation officer in arcon infrastructure for 3 years she has undergone two weeks interdisciplinary refresher course faculty development program on advanced research methodology tools and techniques with a plus grade for 15 to 30 april of 2021 similarly participated in the fcp program in a lot of places and has got a position by doing paper presentation her training was also done by many news channels like doordarshan amar ujala india news g news so now i want to invite miss saima parvez ma'am welcome ma'am uh, hi thank you so much for that wonderful introduction that you gave right now thank you uh, ma'am i am good i'm so sorry for i am just not very well right now so the way i'm looking i apologize for that but since it was something of icert i could not back away from it i had a paralysis attack and my entire the right side is paralyzed right now i can't smile even if i i can't hear anything from my this year but the show must go on and uh, icert cannot stop that's what my motto is right now time ma'am this is the topic of women and mother definitely definitely this is coming from a mother this is this is inherited from my mother and right now i am a mother sitting here and i take up a responsibility if i have been given a responsibility i need to execute that so yeah so i think you are looking amazing and thank you ma'am that is that is that is so thank you so much thank you uh, okay so being a mother then you can hear the child speak as well <laughs> i am so sorry okay so uh, let me start my presentation i have been given a very awesome topic to speak on and i would like to i will try my best to do justice on it i heard the other speaker speak right now it was an honor to hear the speaker right before me uh, i was i was actually looking forward to hear ma'am speak and uh, it is a honor for us the entire icert team and everybody who has joined right now to hear you ma'am uh uh i lost my mom uh, last year and uh, i'm the only child so i was brought up by a single mother who fought the world who fought the odds against everything she raised her only one daughter she became a widow at the age of 35 she decided no no okay the world has crashed but i have my child to look after you so that energy came from there that momentum came from there she took care of me bought me up alone struggled alone i have seen all the struggles alone i'm the only child i don't have siblings then i saw my mom fight cancer for me because she said ke you don't have anybody else other than me so i saw a complete new clinical trial of cancer at home which was strong love for a child of a mother pure love of a child of a mother for a child and with this strength of love she fought she fought for 31 years which is a miracle in itself just because she wanted to live for her daughter so today on mother's day uh, 
uh, I would just like to say to all the mothers, all the women out there, you are just so special. You are just so unique. You are, you are just inspirational, motivational, everything. Every lady out there, whether you're doing something or not, but there are contributions which cannot be seen. There are contributions which are not tangible and they are immense. So a salute to everybody out here, all the mothers out here and all the men out there who have supported all the women to become what they are right now. Uh, okay, so my presentation, uh, I want to, like ma'am said, that women were not always oppressed. I also believe that. I want to take you back. I want to take you back in history. And I would like to just see that how, even, at the, even in 1947, how women made a mark for themselves. How we have historical roots, historical traces to see that, yes, women did something. And we have evidences of how women made a mark, even at that time. And forget about history. Let's talk about a religion. In our religion, in Hinduism, the, the religion that I'm talking about, in Hinduism, uh, literacy, uh, Saraswati Ma, defense, go goddess Durga, uh, Lakshmi Ma, so all important domains, jitne sare important domains, wo sare to striyo ke samarpit hai. So our country is in the way where women can't be able to do it, but hoti hai, that is okay. But what I'm trying to say is that women are, uh, are we, we do not need to be empowered. We are sashakt enough. Sashakti karan bohat hai, baki logo ki nazariye ko sashakt hona hai, ke nari apne aap mein sampoon hai, sashakt hai, usse aap ki zarurat nahi hai, keval aap ki, aap ke nazariye ko sashakt karne ki zarurat hai. That is what my uh, nara is for today. So I would like to share my screen. Is my screen visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay, I'm trying to make it full screen. Okay. Aisa kaun hai dunia mein jo free nahi rehna chata? Who is there who does not want to remain free? I think freedom is the innate bird, innate right of every individual, whether it is homo sapien, whether it is animals, whether it is anybody. So similarly, a woman has the complete right, you know, a complete right to, to become free, even at the birth, birth se lekar, nobody, you know, you can't be schooling an individual all the time. Ye sahi hai, ye galat, ye, ye karna hai, wo nahi karna. So that is, that is the freedom I'm talking about. So is there any woman or men who does not love freedom? No. Freedom is the birth right of individuals, beast, birds, animals, everybody, everybody all lives thrive best when they are free. So definitely every individual, aap ek nari ko, ek woman ko thodi shakti de kar dekhi, and then you see the miracles happening. And then you see what all a woman is capable of doing. And we have witnessed it now and then. We have witnessed it in an independent struggle. We, have, we are witnessing it today. Me sitting here right now is because of my mother. I do not recall my father, but I recall my mother. So. A woman has so much power in them, it's in itself. You know, it is a volcano, it is a volcano, a dormant volcano, a cup, you never know. So, this is what a woman is all about. I am so sorry, I am because of my health, everybody is so. At least people are concerned. So, I am happy about that. Uh, moving on. So the social position of women began to be discussed with the onset of modernization. So when it, ye hua kab se, aakhir kab se hum logo ko itni jigyasa hui, when did we become so enthusiastic about learning about the positioning of women? Simone de Beauvoir said once, one is not born a woman, one becomes one. Ek line, and usme kitna meaning bharai, oh my God, one does not, ek, ek aurat, ek aurat ki tarah paida nahi hoti, but ek aurat, ek aurat ban jati hai after she is born. You know, because of the circumstances, because of the, what society provides her, the economic background, the political background, everything. According to the needs of the society, society according to woman society. This is what Simone B. Bivar said. Even Butler has her arguments regarding this. So the social positioning of women began to be discussed with the onset of modernization attempts in the 19th century. So, just like modernization came, people started realizing that there is something not in sync. Women, ham logo ki, you know, we had a traditional society, we had a patriarchal society, so there were some loops which we did not meet. So, us vakse, uh, with the onset of Western civilization, with the penetration of modernization, 
from then people started thinking about ke uh, we need to you know emancipate our women we need to do something about women why is literacy just concentrated to men why are kyu hame sirf bachcho ko kyu hame sirf aadmiyon ko kyu hame sirf hamare jo men hain unhe shikshit karna hai kya hoga agar women shikshit hui to what will be the what will be the consequences or what will happen so this is when it started and it is not just about india like mentioned by other speakers as well middle east africa egypt it started paving in it started showing its impact everybody started realizing ki kuch aisa hai jo missing hai jo hamare samaj ne jo hamare astit ne jo hamare ek pura society is missing what is that we need to work on it so this is when people started realizing it so world history moved on britain came into india bringing with it western thoughts ideals western contact began to influence indian thought men like raja ram mohan roy arose who took up the cause of women's reforms and emancipation so this is the trickle down theory which i am talking about jo hum mass communication mein the theory which i teach my student is trickle down theory whenever some foreign thoughts come into being so this gradually trickle down in the society so this is what happened some foreign thought came into being and it gradually trickle down in men like raja ram mohan roy uh, brahmo samaj came into being uh dayanand saraswati ji was there ishwar chand vidya sagar was there dk kharve ji was there shri hari singh gaur was there har bilas sardha was there they started thinking ki okay these are our customs these are our traditions but something 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 can be done which can ye customs bhi rahenge sab kuch rahega but uske aa jane se एक पूरा समाज यू नो द इंटायर सोसाइटी कैन कैन बी रिफॉर्म अ कंप्लीट रेफॉर्मेशन कैन कम इन टू प्लेस सो दिस इज वॉट हैपन सो मूविंग ऑन वुमेन्स इंडियन एसोसिएशन अब वुमेन का एसोसिएशन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट डायरेक्ट एसोसिएशन ऑफ वुमेन विद इंडिया डॉक्टर एनी बसंत एंड आर बैंड ऑफ वुमेन वर्कर्स हु केम टू इंडिया अट्रैक्टेड बाई इंडियन रिलीजन एंड फिलोसफी वी हैव ऑलवेज हैड दैट यू नो आई गिव इट यूर डैट we have always had that attraction uh, of our jo bari philosophies hai jo bari cultures they have attracted the west so any person came to india she was so attracted by our philosophy by our rituals by our practices that she came to india so the women's indian association was founded in 1917 in madras and was the premier women's organization which bonded women together for their self development for the services of others it was the first body which demanded civic and political equality for women and its branches spread throughout india so iska is ek body ka sthapit hona ya relevant hona ye batata hai ki relevant tabhi hui jab uski need thi when when the something become relevant in a country it becomes relevant when the need is there jab tak kisi cheez ki bhook nahi hogi tab tak us cheez ka absorption nahi hoga so it become relevant only when uh, because people wanted it people were actually looking for somebody to help them so that is how it became relevant women in gandhi and era this is just a crux i will i will elaborate on it more so gandhi ji worked revolution in our hearts as he had wrought it in the hearts of men his quick but firm demand of indian independence found an echo in our hearts there were so many women who went to jail satyagraha quit india movement gandhi and dandi march ये सब वुमेन से भरी हुई थी एंड इनकी लाठी की आवाज या इनके नारों की स्वराज की आवाज आज तक हमारे देश में गूंजती है सो दैट स्वराज ऑफ द वॉइस द एको ऑफ वुमेन वाज नेवर निगलेक्टेड इट वाज ऑलवेज देयर एंड इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ दैट एको दैट वी स्टिल सी वी वी सी द नीव यू नो द द इससे बोलते हैं वो जो स्वराज की जो नीव थी वो खाली एक एक सेक्स ने नहीं रखी है इट वॉज ऑलवेज uh it was always a work of equality it was there were there were men and women equally on that platform we who were working towards swaraj so women were never the oppressed form wo lade hain wo laathiyan khai hain naare lagaye hain jail gaye hain so they worked equally with men in all domains whether it was political whether it was economic whether it was religious everywhere women have fought their way out so a uh, moving on to the freedom battle women are important in every field mrs sarojini naidu led the way as always and her wake follow a brilliancy galaxy 
Rajkumari, Amrita Kaur, Vijayalakshmi Pandit, you know, there are so plethora of names which I can count right now. And forget about these names, you, you look around, you look around, right now we have, I think, more than uh, 350 people out here. You look around the women, the accomplished women who are sitting here, who have the confidence to speak for themselves, who have the confidence to speak their mind out, who have the confidence to, you know, have a say, argue, decide. We all, this, this shows how important women are for any society and how liberated women are for any society. Uh, so our constitution has given equal rights to both men and women. Women enjoy the right for voting. Voting, uh, voting you know, voting is a very small word, but the importance and the depth of this small word is beyond imagination. Voting can change. Uh, the people, you know, voting can change the entire dimension of political and economic fragments of a society, the entire equilibrium of a society. So, jab aap ek aurat ko is layat samajhte hai, that she can cast a vote, that means you are already pronouncing that men and women are equal. So, men and women were always equal by our constitution. Constitution has given equal right to vote to both men and women, right to inheritance of property. Uh, there are so many laws which are recently being paved down. And just abhi, our first speaker talked about some very nice government schemes which are there. There are Jacha Bacha schemes. There are so many schemes. And I have been researching a lot in the domain of women and liberalization of women. And particularly the women. And I always say the other sex, the weaker sex. You know, I feel very disheartened. I'm not a feminist at heart. But I'm definitely a liberal, uh, a little bit of feminist maybe but definitely a liberal in my upbringing and in my thought process. So we are not the weaker sex, definitely not. We are not the other sex, we are the equal sex. You made us the weaker sex, you decided that we were the weaker sex, but we, we never were. You take out history, you take out constitution, you look into academics, you look into uh, uh, entrepreneurship, you look into business, you look everywhere. We are, we are making equal presence felt. If we are making equal presence felt, we can never be the weaker sex or we can never be the other sex. Gender discrimination has always been there. I think we, as a women, have felt this somewhere down the line. Kabhi na kabhi, kahi na kahi, maybe at home, maybe in office, uh, maybe even while, you know, this is, this is a narrative that we carry down in our family. I don't have a daughter, but if I had a daughter, I have seen this in my family when we were in a group of people. Then our parents or our parents or maybe, you know, cousins would say, Beti ko ka, ye switchboard mat lagana, isko current lag jayega, beta lagayega, ladke se lagwa, kyu bhai? He has the same blood that I have, he has the same skin that I have. Why are you, you know, telling ke kitchen mein rahegi to wo beti jati hai, beta nahi jata? Why are you setting these narratives? These narratives are set by the society. So we need to break free from these narratives. And how will we break free from these narratives? When we start trickling down new modern concepts of equality in our family that is why it is said right very 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 well said by one of our speakers in the beginning ki jab hum ek ek purush ko padhate hain to hum keval ek purush ko padhate hain par jab hum ek stree ko padhate hain pure samaj ko padhate hain to this is how we need to break these stereotypes of gender discrimination when i have a son i need to tell him it's okay for you to cook for yourself it's okay for you to cook for your wife if she's not well it's perfectly fine to, to distribute the responsibilities. What did we see in COVID? There were so many programs of UN on social media talking about uh, women violence hiking up, uh, women being locked up with their abusers because of COVID. Uh, there were <laughs> so, many, uh, so many policies being rolled down by UN. Why? Because this was actually happening. Women were being discriminated. There was gender discrimination. A woman with an oxygen mask on her face is, you know, uh, making khana for their family. This was a shocking picture that I saw on television. Why? Because khana to sirf ek aurat hi banwati hai. Aadmi nahi banwati. So this is nothing. This, these stereotypes, these, these stereotypes need to be broken by us. You, me. How? By simply trickling down new, modern, uh, good cultural perspectives to our uh, to the future generation and it is very easy if we simply do that it can it can actually become realistic and it can actually become true so in comparison with some other problems gender discrimination is very serious and it appears to be because uh, i really feel that gender discrimination is a fact you know we might feel that this is oh my god gender discrimination such a small term doesn't make sense 
but it does make sense when in every in every every step of your life you are told that this men can do this women can do this men can do this women can do that is not right we are born with a biological body okay maybe we can't you know heavy weight lifting or because that is not because of this gender that is because of this body that mother nature has given us there are certain things which we can do okay but there are certain things which the men can't do that is okay if you talk about the biological abilities or the innate abilities of a particular body but apart than that discriminating is something which i do not accept and which is something i do not allow to be accepted when i am in a college when i am professing something when i am teaching something over there everybody is on equal platforms and this is what i keep telling about that once you start talking about gradually it will be talked about like today we all have collectively taken up an issue we all have collectively chosen a platform to talk about to talk about the power of mother liberalization of women so definitely this will make a mark uh, in the future discrimination gender discrimination in socialization socialization i mean this is beyond and this is realistic this is happening so uh, i i just want to i just want this to become this i i i want that next year when we talk about it this actually becomes something which was in future and not in present but this is there right now happening uh, so discrimination in socialization is real gender discrimination is real discrimination in distribution of power and work is real so i have seen even while even hr when their selection process is going on and if they have some stereotype in their mind so you know it seeps through when you're selecting somebody women should not be given more power because then they can misuse it these are certain statement which i have heard for myself so that is why i'm making them right now i'm not quoting anybody but i'm making because i've heard them from myself so these are real i need to we need to break through them and how and because we have seen in the past in the freedom struggle there were women who fought for themselves who have made a mark so women were never oppressed but we are oppressed with these stereotypical thinking of the society so we need to break free from them i i do a lot of research on cancer and women and one of the best lines that i heard a medical oncologist say was she told me do you know saima when do we have the maximum number of when is the opd full i said when ma'am she said opd is full when we have diwali break holy break the shara break and she said do you know when the opd is completely empty i said when she said opd is completely empty when we have a cbsc 10th exam 12th exam or any examination taking place she said i am i am shocked because women consider ke pehle exam hai pehle husband hai pehle unka khana hai pehle unka peena cancer baad mein so imagine the ignorance that we we consider ourselves the last so how is this happened this has happened because this this was taught to us from the beginning ke pehle ye hota hai pehle ye khana khayenge ye khayenge tab aap baad mein khayenge you are, you can so it just trickle down so that is all i'm trying to uh, trying to say in my entire presentation that let's trickle down new 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 forms of concepts new thoughts uh, modernized thoughts which which need to become the base of foundation of uh, of our future of all our future children so women have been neglecting their health i have told you a very good example right now uh women infanticide or feticide is something that that has always existed and will exist i have two boys i have two little boys and i am i was when i was expecting my second one right now i i'm i'm, I'm not in a state of mind to you know give you some very abrupt examples i would like to give you very real examples so when i was expecting my second child i was told by every all my mother in law all my in law side that we hope you bear a son again and i said why so they said because you know uh, a daughter is a responsibility and son is the future of our family this one sentence it it jolted me from inside i said what are we doing a daughter is a responsibility and son is the future of our family i was shocked i heard one more statement of a very renowned medical oncologist and she said that you know when i was expecting i had a son i wanted a son i said ma'am why you are so educated you are into the field of education we look up to you and you are saying that you wanted a son and not a daughter she said yes and the reason behind is is that i am not scared or i do not i i am not scared of having a daughter i am scared for the future of my daughter in this society so it is not actually the woman who needs to be liberated it is actually the thought process of the society that needs to be liberated on the other hand so that is what we are fighting for
uh, okay, so the gender discrimination has always occurred. There is literacy rate in women. Uh, so we have, these are all data that are full of, my slide is full of right now, which show that how we still fight the, the for literacy of a girl child in our country, how we need to persuade a girl child to be educated in our country. Uh, uh, okay. It, will it be okay if I conclude a little earlier than uh, what I was expected to? Uh, anybody there? Okay, I'll just I'll just continue. So these are all, you know, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes was given. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, right. I know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep up, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm have struggling to speak right now. Yes, I, yes, yes. Yeah. So this is uh, all when I talk about history, when I talk about pre Gandhian era, when I talk about Gandhian era, when I talk about non cooperation movement. So we, we see how actually women have fought are carved their way out and paved their way out and how there, there were even at that time there were laws which were which were passed out for child marriage act ban child marriage act was passed in 1872 hindu widow marriage act was passed out so we have seen that society has uh, has realized the power of the weapon or the treasure called women and uh, they want to they want to utilize it to the maximum so this is about the women's movement in Bengal, contribution of women. This, these are all the great women freedom fighters. They have made a mark in our history and they will always be remembered by, by the people who, by, by, the, by, by our leaders, by the current generation, by the present generation, by the future generation. I wrote a very nice research paper on all these women and it is published also. So these are just few names to name a few. Uh, these are few names to name a few uh, during the Gandhian uh, leadership era, how women made a mark. So as, as this has already been discussed about, about empowerment, about how, what actually do you mean by empowerment? How people, uh, what in every, I feel for me, the meaning of empowerment is different. For you, the meaning of empowerment can be completely different. So I feel, a woman living in a particular society, uh, faced by uh, particular circumstances, according to that, she, she has different meanings of empowerment. For example, the meaning of health may be different for you, it may be different for me. Somebody who is facing, uh, maybe a woman in, in a rural area, for her empowerment can be simply not putting a ghungat and going out and eating with the men out there in the society. That can be uh, empowerment for that woman. But for me, empowerment may be, you know, letting me free, just letting me free, let me do what I want to do, let me go where I want to go, where I want to go unasked. So the meaning of empowerment varies with the situations of people that they are in. So the government of India, uh, there are a lot of uh, schemes that are there for the government of India. A lot of employment benefits, a uh, lot of ownership schemes are there. Beti Bachao, Janni, Bach, Janni, Suraksha, Yojana. There are so many schemes which are being, uh, being uh, given for women. Uh, so there are, okay, so employment status of India. This is about the employment status of India. I feel that once a woman becomes empowered, she actually wants to earn money. And once she has that money in her hand, she has that power to make decisions. Because I have seen that once you, you start earning and you have money in your hand, then you're capable of making decisions. You, are, you, become, you become equal on every front. You're not economically weaker. You're not politically weaker. You're not sociologically weaker. And you become equal on all fronts. So employment is very important. Uh, is a very important constituent of liberalization, of emancipation, of uh, liberating a woman. Ownership of assets by women. So these are certain variables which I feel are very important in emancipating a woman. First was employment. Second is ownership of assets. It is very important for women to start, you know, having assets of their own. So once they have assets, so they become equal contributors. You know, the platform becomes equal. She becomes equally important in every in, in decision making processes, in, in, in having a say of her own. So women access to money, credit, and freedom of movement. So next is 
a woman should have access to money, credit, freedom of movement. So this is also one of the important variables in emancipation. She should have an equal right in decision-making process. Whenever you're making a decision, why is, I, why is my voice not heard? If, I am, if there is a family collective decision that needs to be taken, my voice, my say in that decision is as equal or as important as my counterpart's decision or her, his say in that particular matter. So my decision, decision making power should be felt, should become relevant, and it should be there. Health and nutrition, a woman should start becoming important for herself. A woman should, should start believing in herself and she should, she should keep herself first and everybody, uh, because she's the primary caregiver of the family. Uh, the nutrition, you know, her health is directly or indirectly, it will be affected to the entire family, it will trickle down to the entire family. I am not well right now. It, 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 it has direct impact on my children, on my family members. So the health and nutrition of, uh, of a woman is very important and very important variable in emancipation of women. This is the latest data of National Family Health uh, of season five. Yeah, this is the latest data. One third of women in India have experienced physical or sexual violence. This is, this is, this is turbulence to my ear right now, but this is fact. So one third of women in India have experienced physical or sexual violence. 30% of women between the age of 18 and 49 have experienced physical violence, while 6% have experienced sexual violence in their lifetime. So again, this data very, very, you know, it, it throws light on my entire crux of my presentation that I tried to make right now, that women do not need to be liberated. People, the society, the decision makers, they need to be liberated in their thought process. They need to inculcate a brighter future. They need to start paving way for future innovators, for the future of our country who start looking at women with respect, with dignity, because they are very well liberated, they are very well emancipated. They are, they are sashap, they are empowered in every field. Just give them a chance and they will show you, like we are showing you right now. And we men and women are equal counterparts. You know, you need both of them equally. So right now, nowhere, I'm not degrading any, any gender right now. I'm just saying, I'm talking about equality in gender, not degrading any gender. For me, both are equally important. So with this, I would like to say thank you. Uh, I am just not in a position to talk more. I'm just struggling right now. So yeah, thank you so much. Saima, ma'am, you are too good. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for wonderful presentation. Even though you are suffering for, from so many problems, still you dare to mark your presence with this, uh, so many precious words and enlighten us from uh, uh, so many, uh, so many informative uh, PPTs you have prepared. Uh, thank you, ma'am. And uh, I want to acknowledge uh, that uh, you, the first sentence you have presented, stated the expression of uh, your mentality and your brought up that uh, with the freedom. Your first slide was, uh, it it was showing that everybody wants freedom. So started with your freedom intellectual point and that is already imbibed in our vedas if we and you have also shown that uh, trace back to the history that is very remarkable presentation in the, that slide it's it's one line already explains so many things this is the thing is that in our history it is already been mentioned yatra narjastu pujyante ramante tatra devata and also we have mentioned uh, one thing that for uh, if you want prosperity, you would like to worship Lakshmi goddess. If you would like to uh, achieve something in your career, in uh, in your in your intellectuality, you will go for Saraswati. And uh, similarly, like uh, so many positions are being provided. Defenses in goddess Durga. So yes, all important, sorry, that important. Is the, yes, uh, 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 yes. Um, the power which is being in, for the people are getting getting insane uh, that is they are achieving from women so yeah. it is a very deliberate uh, speech you have present and uh, and uh, some uh, some of the females we can also mention in our presentation on today's uh, mother's day uh, celebration that uh, um, somebody have heard about maitre lopa mudra lopa mudra 
a very famous vedic philosopher ancient philosopher uh, wife of uh, um, agastya rishi agastya sage and uh, she has contributed so much in bringing uh, in vedic literature by uh, uh, compiled by agastya sage and uh, agosha swaha all all these have remarkably contributed in our society hem hema lekha and sita as when people are talking that people uh, uh, female are discriminating uh, today's scenario if we, if we will go actually they are discriminating in uh, not in our in our original culture they are being discriminating as the time passing and changes changes have been brought up by the invaders you have mentioned uh, gungat or the veil uh, that, that veil is not actually in uh, in our culture that has been in, invaded and added by the invaders side by side in our in our culture additional additional uh, additionality in the culture you can say so discrimination in the society is not our parts of our uh, original culture because we have already already uh, provide female much more status than than the male in every aspect as already have three 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 domains are already been been taken over by the females that the power that the uh, uh, vidya and uh, that is uh, your uh, prosperity so it is uh, uh, none other the words we can say that uh, yes to in today scenario all the religions all the belief uh, followers every part of the society is required to change their scenario the thought process you have mentioned yes i do agree with that thought process of the society is required to be changed in today's today's uh, world because it is the need of the time definitely and your database presentation was also uh, so much remarkable that to, people are able to understand that how much percentage is there and how much percentage is lacking and how much is required to be cope up with decision making ability is also a very uh, important thing as uh, the first guru is what the first teacher is what she is the mother she is the female teacher uh, every first aspect a newborn child is to deal with a mother the mother is the first home for a child mother is the first world of the uh, of for a child so decision making let the child to decide the female child to decide her decide herself because in our if we go back to in our in our history it is also also mentioned that we are given freedom of choice whether we want to study or not female were also render render some places or they are equ uh, equally provided the freedom to to go for higher education and uh, in our in, in our history it was also mentioned that they are provided with the freedom to marry which are in today's scenario it is very complicated if we talk about they want to contribute in they want to learn about learning arts and uh, civil or wars or politics it was also equally uh they were treated with the male but now as as slowly uh, the passage of time or the path of uh, time kehte hain samay ka pahiya chalta hai to jaise jaise samay ka pahiya chalta jaye waise waise samay ke sath kuch na kuch positive aur kuch na kuch uh, negative cheeze they are going side by side adding in uh, the culture that is being adapted and uh, living by the people yeah if we talk about the power so and the reverence why we called why if goswami tulsi das in in, uh, in in their ram charitmanas called sita ram that is in order to address the female much more respect it is not mostly we are called yes ram and sita but how we address usually commonly that is sita ram in none other than religion of our culture and our that is hinduism or that our practices we are living day to day life that is the women are the spirit of life even the nature is being symbolized in the fame in the name in the in the female female point of view we do worship nature that is also 
prakriti means also it is addressing the feminism so you have highlighted so many things ma'am uh, from my part and uh, our department of education uh, and uh, our collaborative icert our women study center all are highly acknowledge you, your presence here uh, in such a very uh, uh, adverse conditions of your health still you mark your presence here and uh, share your valuable uh, valuable words uh, for our audience and uh, thank you from my side ma'am thank you ma'am you are such a great such an excellent uh, moderator you know conceptualizing and summing up everything is to the t so you are excellent in it thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you for uh, acknowledge my uh, i would like to address uh, dr monica so that she can she can invite dr raj sangwan and uh, dr monica if you are present here please uh, from my side now take over the session uh, thank you so much dr sushila thank you ma'am uh, namaskar everyone again it is now my great pleasure to introduce dr raj kumari sangwan ji honorable member icert and director arya group of institution phd guide master trainer cbse new delhi which is our guest speaker on one day international online seminar on the occasion of mothers day on public power and politics women empowerment roles and responsibilities she graduated with bachelor of science and bachelor of education and post graduated with a master of science in geology and in ma english she received her mphil and phd degree in education she has many skills like student safety and supervision classroom management strategies resource room uh, tutoring education technologies she also attended the cbse workshops on class management and gender sensitization she is a resource person on life skill and class management at ace vision publication lucknow she has 18 years of working experience till now and she is currently the director of rd college of education she has 10 plus research paper published in various national and international research journals three articles published in books she also presented 15 plus ppt and paper presentation in national and international seminars held at various universities she also a research guide in three universities in rajasthan in 2006 best teacher award gave to her by vesh education society and in 2018 mr ram bilal sharma ji honorable education minister gave her the acharya alankar award to her really ma'am you are a great personality and definitely your talk will motivate us now i would like to invite dr raj sangwan ji to present a motivational and informative speech for one day international online webinar on the occasion of mothers day on public power and politics women empowerment roles and responsibilities welcome ma'am raj ma'am are you able to hear dr raj are you present so till then dr raj sangwan will join our session i want to make you announce something that a feedback link will be shared so do not leave the meeting without will filling the feedback link other, other otherwise you will not be able to claim for your certification for making your presence in the present conference 
uh, in between i have also shared the whatsapp link so uh, some those who have registered with me indirectly means not directly by mail uh, by the zoom meeting link they are requested that uh, feedback link is required to be filled um, before that the whatsapp link is required to be filled so i will share the feedback link later on at the end of the session do not leave the meeting since the uh, before the filling of the feedback link thank you from my side Raj ma'am, are you present here? Monica ma'am, are you able to see her? Uh, no ma'am. Actually, uh, Gitika ma'am has to. Saima ma'am, Pervez ma'am has to take over the session ta, until ma yes. Yeah, it is time to so close. Yes, uh, it is time thirty. Is time is seven thirty. Hello, am I audible? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. thank you very much for this wonderful introduction and uh, and the great session is going on i heard you all and the great views have been shared over this wonderful topic the women empowerment and the day is also very special first of all i would like to wish all the mothers a happy mothers day to all of you hats off to you every mother every mother is special and you are doing a wonderful job by uh inculcating different type of uh, sanskars in your child let me share my screen please let me know if uh my screen is visible to you is my screen visible yes ma'am it is visible ma'am okay thank you very much thank you very much ma'am women empowerment challenges and remedies the great topic today is going on discussion is going on and this topic is the need of our worldwide this topic is gaining very very importance and it's a need of our and the empowerment what is empowerment it is a process of increasing the authority and responsibility of individuals or the group to make the choices and to transform those choices into desired actions and the outcomes and we women don't have don't have any such type of uh, uh, what we can say rights in this society but nowadays thanks to the social reformers and to our constitution that that is uh progressively empowering women with the different policies time to time different policies are coming uh, so that uh, women can be uh, came into the mainstream of the nation and this is well said in the old indian women society in the male dominant society it was dhol gawar shudra pashu nari ye sab tandan ke दंड के अधिकारी तो आई डोंट बिलीव मैम सॉरी टू मेक यू डिस्टर्ब एक्चुअली योर डेस्कटॉप इज विजिबल ओनली इट इज ओनली यू आर विजिबल इट इज नॉट प्रॉपरली सो प्लीज डू शेयर द स्क्रीन अगेन डू शेयर द स्क्रीन अगेन मैम ओके 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 मैम दिस डेस्कटॉप ऑफ साइमा मैम Saima ma'am is sharing his screen. Uh, screen. Saima ma'am, please stop sharing. Is my screen visible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, now ma it's visible. Now it's visible. It is visible. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. तो आई डोंट नो कि ये हमारे कल्चर्स में क्यों लिखा हुआ था पहले जिसने भी लिखा था आई डोंट अग्री विद दिस एंड मैम अभी इन योर प्रीवियस गेस्ट स्पीकर शी हैज आल्सो एक्सप्लेन एक्चुअली इट वाज ओके आई विल नॉट शेयर दिस वन ओके नो नो यू आर यू आर फ्री ओके ओके आई रिस्पेक्ट द टाइम why need of women empowerment why we need this empowerment in our society the main problem that we are we women are facing is that still there is a gender discrimination in our society 
and women are not allowed to take admission or take education uh, in the still in the different parts of the country uh, as well and the there is a great uh, um, female poetry is going on especially in india and there is a dowry system and the marriage in the same caste and the child marriage such type of uh, uh, social issues are still existing in our society whatever we are living in we are uh, sharing 21st century skills we are living in the 21st century but uh, still somewhere all these things are happening with the women in the different parts of the country and this is not the only the case of indian society or it's happening worldwide this is a worldwide problem and the atrocities of women they, the, they are facing they are kicked they are raped they are killed they are subdued and humiliated almost daily we can see everywhere or whether it is uh, social media or in the newspaper print media we are seeing whatever is happening uh, with the women and the women are deprived of all these things they don't have any power to take decision in the family they are their decision is not even their uh, desire or their wish or their point of view is not allowed to share in any matter of the family as this is a male dominant society and there is no freedom of movement a lady can't move outside the uh, home without the permission of husband uske permission ke bila kahin nahi ja sakti still there is no freedom to the women and the access to education all women are not allowed to Uh, take higher education still even after the marriage the problem goes on so worse and the access to employment less uh, there are uh, still there are some families where the women are so educated highly educated but still they are not allowed by the family to go outside for earning the money or to show cast his uh, hard potential as every woman is unique full of potential bahut sara potential hai hum women ke andar mahilaon ke andar lekin bahut so ka to jo talent hai wo hidden hi reh jata hai unko ek opportunity ek platform nahi milta and to provide such uh, opportunity and the platform a women empowerment is very very essential and the exposure to media is very less to the women still they are deprived of this exposure to different type of social media or the print media and no doubt women across the world are facing the this threat of this domestic violence and i had uh, viewed so many cases in my nearby village after marriage and uh, i had written a book over this domestic violence against the women in the rural areas of haryana you can google it it is available at the flipkart and amazon as well and here i tried to put uh, three case studies that have been where the girls have been vastly affected by this domestic violence so this is the need of our we have to support each other and rights of women we never talk about any right of the women always this society is talking about the rights of man aadmi ke ye rights hain wo rights hain but why we not talk about the rights of women the right to work as a human being you have to consider women as a human being and the right to uh, the same employment opportunities including the application of the same criteria for the selection and nowadays we can see women in the every field of the life in the every job sector they are doing the marvelous job and hats off to such uh, ladies who are doing wonderful in their field and the right to free choice of profession and the employment and the right to promotion job security and all the benefits and the conditions of service and right to receive vocational training and the retraining these are the rights of every women and the right to equal remuneration when we are doing job equally with the men so we have the right to get the same salary as that is paid to the men and the right of the social security as well as the right to be paid leave yes and the right to protect of health and to the safety this is the, these are the few uh, uh, there are so many uh, rights of of a women but few of them i try to mention here and we have to stop this violence against the women we have to stop it ek nari ko dusri nari ke sath agar kuch galat ho raha hai to we have to support raise your voice everywhere i am also doing this case 
अगर ये हमारी फैमिली के अंदर भी हो रहा है इवन देन वी हैव टू रेज वॉइस अगर किसी के साथ भी गलत हो रहा है और ऐसा ही केस मेरी फैमिली में भी हुआ है तो मैंने भी सपोर्ट किया उस लड़की को उसके लेकिन फैमिली हमारी कहते ना हमारी इंडियन और खासकर हरियाणा की जो कल्चर है वहां महिलाओं को इतने अधिकार नहीं है बोलने के लिए बट स्टिल आई फाइट फॉर दैट गर्ल एंड फाइनली हमारी जीत हुई और वो लड़की आज अपने ससुराल अपने हस्बैंड के साथ एक अच्छी लाइफ स्पेंड कर रही है और रीजन यही है कि हम एक दूसरे के लिए हेल्पिंग हैंड बने सही को सही बोले और गलत को गलत बोलना हम सीखें ये नहीं कि हम अपने मुंह पे ताला लगा के बैठ जाएं टेप लगा के बैठ जाएं कि वट आई कैन डू वट आई अलोन कैन डू हम अकेले बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं कहते हैं ना नारी नारी के अंदर पूरा विश्व पूरा ब्रह्मांड समाया हुआ है जब हम पूरी दुनिया को चलाने वाली एक नारी शक्ति है तो हम क्यों नहीं कुछ कर सकते हमारे अंदर इतना पोटेंशियल है किसी में भी नहीं इतना पोटेंशियल आई सल्यूट ईच एंड एवरी वुमेन एंड आई एम प्राउड ऑफ बींग ए वुमेन एंड द वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट हैज फाइव डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट दीज आर वुमेन सेल्फ ऑफ सेल्फ वर्थ कंसिडर एवरी एवरी वुमेन शुड कंसिडर हर a powerful lady and the right to have and determine the choices everyone must have and their right to have the access to the opportunities and the different type of resources for her um, progress and the development and their right to have the power to control their own lives hamari life ko koi aur control nahi kar sakta we have to be take the charge of our life both within and outside the home in the office or somewhere else and their ability to influence the direction of social change to create a more just social and economic order or nationality or internationally we have to do this everywhere national level pe ho ya international level pe hame apni pehchan khud banani hogi hum wait nahi kar sakte kisi ka bhi women education the education is the most powerful tool of this progress but still there are so many challenges कहते हैं ना विमेन के लिए एक नारी के लिए हर रास्ते के ऊपर इतनी सारी प्रॉब्लम्स और इतनी सारी रुकावटें खड़ी होती हैं बट एक विमेन एक स्ट्रॉन्ग विमेन उन सभी रुकावटों को अपनी समझ से अपनी सोच से दूर करती हुई और अपने प्रोग्रेस के ऊपर अपनी सफलता के पथ के ऊपर खुद उसको चढ़ना होता है कोई उसको सपोर्ट नहीं मिलता खुद उसको अपने आ, माइंड से स्मार्ट डिसीजन लेके अपनी लाइफ को सेट करना होता है लो लिटरेसी रेट है हम इंडियन वुमेन का स्टिल एंड द टू आउट ऑफ एवरी टेन गर्ल इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ सिक्स टू इलेवन आर स्टिल नोट एंड रोल इन द स्कूल द डेटा इज वेरी वेरी शॉकिंग एंड द हाई रेट ऑफ ड्रॉप आउट एंड द स्टेग्नेशन अमंग द गर्ल नियरली ट्वाइस दैट ऑफ द बॉयज ऑल ओवर द इंडिया एंड द परसिस्टेंस ऑफ द कल्चर वैल्यूज एंड द एटीट्यूड ऑफ पेट्रियाल अगेरियन सोसाइटीज एज ए मेजर सोर्स ऑफ दिस डिस्क्रिमिनेशन स्टिल वीमेन आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी राइट इन द प्रोपर्टी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में दे रखा है कि प्रोपर्टी पे है मैं वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट को उस दिन सही मानूंगी सही मायने में मानूंगी वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट है जिस दिन हम अपनी बेटियों को भी प्रॉपर्टी का शेयर देना स्टार्ट कर देंगे कि यस ये तुम्हारी अगर हमारे हरियाणा की अगर मैं बात करूं मान लो ट्वेंटी किले आते हैं जमीन तो बेटा बेटी को दहेज में दी बेटी को आई एम अगेन द डोवरी सिस्टम सॉरी दिस इज अ स्लिप ऑफ टंग कि हम अपनी बेटी को उसका शेयर दें कि दस किले बेटा तेरे हैं और बेटी दस किले ये तेरे हैं और ये तेरी रजिस्ट्री है लेके जाओ जिस दिन ये दिन आ जाएगा मैं उस दिन मान लूंगी कि यस Women empowerment हो चुकी है उसकी beginning उसका आगाज हो चुका है otherwise इन कागजों में आ जाए law के अंदर आ जाए वो women empowerment नहीं है and the girls education delayed or interrupted by the need to help the family in the economic activities this is the main reason कि girls have to uh, support the family since the childhood and the social evil of the bonded labor and the child labor are also Uh, the main barriers of the girls education especially in the rural areas ladki aur ladka dono mein itna gender inequality still hamari society ke andar hai hum kitna hi education kyun na gain kar le but jahan choice ki baat aati hai to family kisko choose karti hai ladke ko choose karti hai agar education ghar pe chutti leni hai bacche ka school band karwana hai kisi reason se aaj chutti leni hai to bete ko bola jayega beta aap to school jao beti ko beta aaj tum ghar ka kaam sambhal lo why ye kyun nahi kaha jata ki beta beti तुम स्कूल जाओ और आज बेटा है वो घर पर रह के इन काम को संभालेगा ये नहीं हो रहा हमारी सोसाइटी के अंदर एंड द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ अर्ली 
marriage this is one of the main reason to hamper the women education up still uh, this is the supreme court has uh, increased the age of marriage 21 year 21 year for the girl this is the great initiative i think and uh, there are the remedies for improving the literacy level of the women in india what policies uh, have been adopted or made by the government to uplift the women uh, district wise plan should be made keeping in view the literacy requirement of the learner and the ministry of education both at the center and the state level should develop the strategies to stop the ongoing high dropouts and change in the attitude of the society and in the traditional value we have to change the attitude of society towards the women and the girl child only then we can bring this women empowerment to the fullest and the use of media for portraying the positive image of women and the financial assistance to poverty stricken families and the abolishment of the child labor dowry early marriage and the caste system we have to eradicate all these things and promotion of the self respect and the self dignity of the girls we have to promote this one every every women every female every girl should be respected only then we can bring this uh, women empowerment and that there are the stat- strategies to improve the literacy level of the women in india and counseling of parent and the children belonging to the poor and the under privileged families should be done and the government is doing this one and emphasis should be given to empower the women through awareness building on the social issues bringing the attitudinal change promotion of the skill training for employment and providing the information on the health care nutrition hygiene and the legal rights and government officials policy makers political parties and the others should have adequate political will and conviction to empower the women in india without the double standard mind and above all women themselves should show to the rest of the world that they are not only able to be on their own but they are capable of kick starting progress and development from the home making to the nation building as i said and i generally say uh, women is the most powerful creator of the god, god. and why women are not progressing as they are trapped in the social and the cultural practices and power they are they are powerless to make the essential life choices dominant behaviors and the mindsets there is inequalities within the household things as they are deep rooted patriarchy and the early marriage and the pregnancy household goals and the elderly care son preferences violence against women and the discriminatory attitudes and the compromised general and the reproductive health and there have been the years of suppression and the deprivation borne by the women across the communities education poor inf- infrastructure lack of non formal educational system and the economic participation and the opportunities there is a denied autonomy and mobility informal sector low skills are there and the double burden of the labor and the risk of exploitation labor intensive invisible and there is a unrecognized and unremunerated and the inequalities and the political power and uh, there is a access to there should be access to the decision making representation governments and the differences in the legal status and the entitlement this is very very these are the things that are trapping the women and there is a social empowerment uh, for the women social empowerment may be one of the most prominent form of the empowerment shown in the mainstream media and it builds on the women social relation and the position within the socially structured context offering them more opportunities to contribute productively without regard to gender and by being able to successfully function within the society an individual can attain a sense of self confidence and which will benefit them in the long run while empowering other around them at the same time and there is a need of women empowerment in the all uh, aspects of the life and in the economic empowerment money can't buy happiness but it can allow you to become empowered 
and people who don't have the money needed to purchase something may feel as though they don't have control over their lives although not everyone is born with the equal access to resources closing this gap would enable everyone to have access to what they need and then be uh, able to leverage that human capital into the material intellectual or the financial capital for themselves and their families and uh, in short i would like to say having less money means more challenges in the life and also good economic standing is necessary to get a better education better treatment and a better shelter it is very very essential and the political empowerment having a voice in the politics is crucial for the women and now we are seeing there has been since the time immemorial uh, women have been a great politician if i talk about jhansi ki rani ko nahi janta jhansi ki rani ko ips kiran bedi indira gandhi kitne hi naam hai aapko ginwaye ja sakte hain uske liye but hum apna ek mindset hamara hai kuch hamari society ka hai society ke mindset ko hame khud hi break karna hoga the same case wahi aa jata hai aapke samne different type of dishes aapke samne rakhi hui hai but khani to aapko khud ko padegi na तो सेम इज द केस ऑफ द वीमेन एम्पावरमेंट गवर्नमेंट ने इतनी सारी पॉलिसीज बना रखी हैं तो दो कदम तो हम महिलाओं को भी आगे चलना होगा अपने अधिकार के लिए वट यू से शेयर योर व्यूज इन द चैट बॉक्स एंड हैविंग द इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन द पॉलिटिक्स विल अलाउ द वीमेन टू एक्सप्रेस दम सेल्फ एंड देर व्यूज टू द सोसाइटी एंड आर नेशन नीड्स मोर वीमेन कैंडिडेट टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द इलेक्शन and we need to support them as well we have to support every lady who is uh, working great job to uplift the other women and our government has uh, taken steps to bring down the gender inequality in the politics by institution reserve seats for the women and like man women also have the ability to lead take decisions in the critical situations all they need is an opportunity to do and they can make the wonders every women is wonderful amazing so the need is we have to provide we should get a wonderful platform we have to shatter these boundaries that have been set by the male dominant society and this is all about the women empowerment a woman is the full circle within her is the power to create nurture and transform and when we uh, admire something about another woman tell her get in the habit of lifting each other up thank you very much to the entire icrt team and the different uh, uh, guests and the participants who are present here and thanks you very much to the dr uh, sandeep singh ma'am sir dr sandeep sihag and the entire team you are doing a wonderful job hats off to you and once again a happy mothers day to all the mothers thank you thank you ma'am thank you for presenting uh, such wonderful information and uh, sharing your views precious views on the present uh, important topic on the behalf of our entire team baba masnat university women study center and icrt uh, i pay my gratitude humble gratitude towards your presence here i acknowledge uh, what what wonderful views you have shared with us uh, with the audience uh, near about 346 participants are still with us from last uh, uh, starting uh, of the program and they are still staying with us continuously Uh, so uh, participants i have shared the feedback link in the chat box but do not leave uh, do not leave the conference right now because we still have a lot of things to do there is some other things i want to also share uh, that on the same topic means the, it is due to shortage of time on the same similar topic public power and politics women empowerment Uh, its uh, role and responsibilities uh, uh, topics on the related with these topics abstracts and full paper le length are also invited uh, from th this platform 
so that we can prepare an edited book. So I, I have shared a WhatsApp link also. Those who are interested in preparing their paper and want, they want it, it to publishing uh, for, from our, our platform, uh, I have already shared. And uh, I'm also uh, glad uh, that uh, so many uh, participants have still their remarkable presence with us. Uh, I want to invite if anybody is wish, uh, wishing to share th their knowledge on the similar topic, if, if there are anybody, they can uh, write me now in the chat box. Anybody want to present any paper, any, any the factual or data information on any th theme, sub theme? Sushila ma'am, I Dr. Satish is showing me. Can you invite Satish sir? Uh, ma'am, from my side, I'm not able to see. Uh, Dr. Satish, ma'am, I'm not able to see ma'am. Okay, let me see. So, ma'am, I will hand over the session okay, to you. Okay, okay. No, no, you say it, I'll talk to them. Okay, okay. So, part participants, I have already shared the information. Uh, till 15th of May, you can send your abstract on the related theme, sub-theme, any other theme related to this, uh, today's theme. And... Uh, Till 30th of May, you are invited for the full-length papers uh, on the similar theme. I, I would like to welcome all the, the all the papers you will you will uh, share with us, and uh, we will acknowledge your paper by uh, by confirmation uh, through the mail. So I'm uh, sharing the mail ID. Please go to the chat box. Actually, instead of share, instead of uh, mail ID, I have shared the WhatsApp link where all the participants can join and uh, the further information can be shared there. Feedback link also been shared. So participants are requ uh, requested to go through, go through this formal feedback so that we can we can try to improve and take up your suggestions for further in the future if it is there any uh, any lack in the in the moderation or in in, in the program because uh, suggestions are always welcome to improve uh, our leggings Komal ma'am, you are also requested to please be, uh, brief the today's session. Uh, after uh, Aruna ma'am will give me information ki whether Satishar is going to present or not. So, Komal ma'am, are you there? Komal ma'am? Okay ma'am, okay ma'am. Okay, uh, we will have to wait till ma'am will interpret the information. Okay, ma'am. Suchila, ma'am, ask Komal, ma'am, to brief out. Okay, ma'am. So, participants, it is today's theme on the day of Mother's Day. so that we can we can adore the day which is important to our parents particularly our mothers it is a devoting day addressing the several issues we have taken in our today's session uh, by our in a, by our eminent guest speakers and they have highlighted so many important information and factual information, data-based information, uh, constitution-based provisions. And uh, in last, uh, Dr. Raj Sangwan has also highlighted that uh, woman empowerment is uh, why it is important, why it is necessary. And she has addressed various issues like gender discrimination, dowry system, uh, access to education. She has addressed how employment is important 
वही कि एक घर अगर एक औरत एजुकेट करती है तो एक नहीं वो हजारों लाखों घर एजुकेट करती है फेमस कोट फ्रॉम नेहरू जी एक्सपोजर टू मीडिया यस देर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल रिक्वायर टू बी प्लेड बाय सोशल मीडिया मोर यू विल प्रेजेंट द नेगेटिविटी मोर द नेगेटिविटी विल बी स्प्रेड थ्रू आउट द सोसाइटी मोर पॉजिटिविटी यू विल यू विल डिस्पर्स इट विल डिस्पर्स मोर पॉजिटिव इन द सोसाइटी सो वैल्यूज आर एडिंग अप on the way in the philosophy of your of your own thinking ki what you are thinking or what the changes you want to transform in the society what reforms you want to bring in the society all these things are they can be inculcated and they can be imbibed by bringing changes and transformation in the society and making the women's presence more and more more and more higher and higher so freedom and freedom of movement is uh, it's okay that uh, things are being now orthodox but yes still the hindrance is uh, still in the society uh, females are not provided so much uh, freedom of choice and uh, freedom of movement when they, they if they have to visit some place they will have to ask the permission it is all, it's okay it is uh, a formal uh, permissions yes it is required also making a discipline so, but yes they will have to a right to choose their path to make their decisions highlight the various rights provided uh, in the constitution by dr raj she has also uh, also explain a one line which cover all the different aspects of so many lines so many pages of words so many length of paper only one line is very uh, very impressive she has uh, uh, she has uh, rendered in during the uh, providing her session that nari ke bhitar sara brahmand samaya hai i need not to explain it need not to pro provide any highlight on this simple line but complicated uh, uh, impression and uh, compli compli comprehensive so much comprehensive uh, statement अर्ध नारीश्वर इसी का रूप है शिव की शक्ति भी इसी का रूप है इसीलिए न, नर की शक्ति नारी है सो वुमन सेंस ऑफ सेल्फ वर्थ हैज एक्सप्लेन बाय डॉक्टर राज एंड शी हैज आल्सो एक्सप्लेन राइट टू हैव एंड राइट टू डिटरमाइन चॉइसेस राइट टू एक्सेस अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड रिसोर्सेस शी हैज आल्सो एड्रेस द इशू दैट इज स्टिल आउट ऑफ टेन टू girl child are not enrolled in the age of 6 to 11 they are not offered the classes to the school to join regular uh, why education is being delayed she has also addressed this issue she has mentioned that economical problems and economic problems are creating hindrance in getting education she has also addressed that there are some social evils of course there as i have already uh, add up that more the more culture more the more new things more the more time evolved some positive and negative aspect in the society so social evils uh, being bonded in our in our culture in our in our diversified india is the uh, bonded labor also early child marriages practices so they are also uh, big issues although they, they are numbering are being now they are reducing but still they are the uh, considered with the major issues which are preventing the woman to mark her presence uh, in a much more dominating way have, you have all heard that every successful man is preceded and supported by a woman so no need to explain or no need to highlight that how woman is important and how woman is a power behind a power one is expressive and one is indirect supporting way so use of media also important and uh, yes uh, trapped in social culture and practices the social evils required we, we will have to get rid of them so continuous suppressions required to be uh, now restrictions to be put there uh, this is the summarization of uh, dr raj sangwan she has uh, she has shared her views Uh, in our today's session so i would like to invite dr komal dr komal uh, 
to uh, provide overall yeah. summary on today's session and then address word of thanks for for uh, this today's conference by inviting Dr. Arunachal. So, Komal ma'am, please take over the session from me. Yes, ma'am. Again, good evening to all. Now it's my great pleasure to sum up this webinar. Thank you. To our delegates for enlightening and our attending. As you all know, our today's topic is public, power and politics, women empowerment, roles and responsibility. Women empowerment is empowerment is multidimensional social process that helps people to gain control over their own lives, political participation and leadership are vital mechanisms that support women to realize their human rights. Increasing women participation in leadership and decision making has proven to be good for equal Women participation involves boosting women to be self-supporting, obligate positive self-esteem, economically independent, create confidence to face active participation in various social political development. At the end, I would like to say on Mother's Day, occasion of Mother's Day, Mother has ears that listen, arms that always hold, love that never ends, and the heart made up of gold. Dr. Arunachal Ma'am, to propose a vote of thanks to our delegates, students, and audience. Welcome, Arunachal Ma'am. Thank you, Komal Ma'am. And thank, thank you, you Dr. Sushila, ma'am. Uh, abhi tak mein dekh rahi hu ki approx 300 participants abhi bhi hai humare saath jude hoye. Aur ye conference bahut hi achhi aur knowledgeable aur fruitful rahi hai humare liye. Ab ek formal vote of thanks dena bhi banta hai because all the participants are still there and guest speakers too. Uh, thank you is a such a prayer that cannot be touched or seen. It must be felt by heart. I feel honored and privileged to get the opportunity to propose vote of thanks on this special occasion, Mother's Day. An international conference, a topic said role, politics for the women, roles and responsibilities. On behalf of organizing committee, I convey deep regards and heartily thank to our honorable chief guest, Dr. Anjana Rao, pro-chancellor, BMU Rohatak and Dr. Sandeep Kumar, chairman of ICERT. Uh, he is the man who has been always standing next to us as a lamppost. Means he has been always supporting us and encouraging us for such workshops and conferences. I would like to thank all the guest speakers who blessed us with their presence and valuable thoughts. Dr. Puspanjali, Captain Geetika, Ms. Saima, and Dr. Raj Sangwan. For us, every hour is a grace. Thus, all who are present here for this occasion, Mother's Day, I feel gratitude by heart. Uh, because without them, no programs get success and it cannot be successful unless and until our participants are there or the people who are like an audience. I would fail if I don't thanks our team of Women's Study Center, BMU, our Department of Education, and my RC, ICERT team, technical team, and other members behind the curtain. Special thanks to Dr. Sandeep Sihak and Ms. Saima, and Mr. Singmar, sir, especially. Uh, Arna, ma'am, ma sorry to make you hinder. 
प्लीज सेव योर लास्ट वर्ड्स बिकॉज डॉक्टर दिनेश चहल इज ऑल्सो विद अस फ्रॉम सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी हरियाणा सो आई वाज आस्किंग आई वाज लुकिंग फॉर हिम डॉक्टर दिनेश चहल यस मैम ही इज शेयरिंग विद अस द स्क्रीन सो यू कैन प्लीज कॉर्डिल इनवाइट हिम ओके ओके वेलकम डॉक्टर दिनेश चहल एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी थैंक यू मैम हरियाणा दिनेश सर से तो खैर मेरा मिलना कई बार हुआ है और हम कई कॉन्फ्रेंसेस में इकट्ठे रहे हैं and he is the best motivational speaker i think and he is the best speaker dinesh sir i welcome Jeevan. you all on welcome you on behalf of my university and icrd team thank you ma'am thank you sorry uh meri awaaz aa rahi ma'am sir aapki awaaz clear nahi crack ho rahi hai awaaz clear aa rahi hai abhi ha ab aa rahi hai sir okay okay सो आज मैडम आपने जो वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट पे प्रोग्राम किया है दैट इज वंडरफुल और ये हम सब चार साढ़े चार बजे से सुन रहे हैं कि सख्त राहों में भी आसान सा सफर लगता है ये मुझे मेरी माँ की दुआओं का असर लगता है ये मुझे मेरी माँ की दुआओं का असर लगता है और हम अपने प्रतिदिन के कार्यों को करते हुए मार्ग में चलते हुए जब हम थक जाते हैं तो विश्रांति के लिए हम किसी वृक्ष की अक्षणिक छाया का आश्रय ग्रहण करते हैं किंतु जीवन की यात्रा में श्रांत हो हृदय में हृदय के कोलाहल से विश्रांत हो तथा वैचारिक द्वंद्व से कालांत हो जाते हैं तो मलानमुख हो जिस एक छाया का अत्यधिक आश्रय ग्रहण करते हैं वह माँ माँ की गोद और माँ का आंचल होता है माँ का कोई मेरी दृष्टि में दिवस नहीं होता मैडम बल्कि जो भी दिवस होता है वही मातृ दिवस है क्योंकि माँ से ही दिन है माँ से ही रात है माँ से ही जीवन है इसलिए मैं कहता हूं माँ से छोटा कोई शब्द हो तो बताइए माँ से बड़ा भी कोई हो तो बताइए लोग कहते हैं आज माँ का दिन है वो कौन सा दिन है जो माँ के बिना है मौत के लिए तो बहुत रास्ते हैं पर जन्म लेने के लिए केवल माँ ही है जन्म लेने के लिए केवल माँ ही है और मैं कहता हूं जब माँ का नाम लेता हूं मैं चार माँ मेरे और आपके जीवन में बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है भारत माँ गाय माँ धरती माँ और हम सबको जन्म देने वाली हमारी माँ और कई बार लोग कहते हैं मैं अपने माँ बाप को साथ रखता हूं मैंने कहा यह बात नहीं है माँ बाप को साथ नहीं रखना माँ बाप के साथ रहना है माँ के साथ रहना है हम कौन होते हैं माँ बाप को साथ रखने वाले माँ बाप है जो हमें इस संसार से रूबरू करवाते हैं तो माँ बाप को साथ नहीं रखना माँ बाप के साथ रहना है जो मैं कह रहा हूं और हम तो उस देश के वासी है जहां माए भी भगवान को गोदी में खिलाती है कि चाहे तो मुर्दों को जिला सकती है चाहे तो हिमालय को हिला सकती है ये वो देश है वो देश जहाँ पे माए भगवान को गोदी में खिला सकती है माए भगवान को गोदी में खिला सकती है तो हम तो उस देश के रहने वाले हैं मैडम और कहीं ना कहीं बस एक ही सवाल सबसे जो जुड़े हुए हैं और बड़ा अच्छा मुद्दा जिसके लिए आपने सबको इकट्ठा किया ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म पे और एक ही सवाल सबसे कि मातृशक्ति यदि नहीं बची तो बाकी ये आहार रहेगा कौन और प्रसव वेदना लालल पालल सब दुख दर्द सहेगा कौन मानव हो तो दानवता को त्यागो फिर ये उत्तर दो नन्ही सी जान के दुश्मन को इंसान कहेगा कौन इंसान कहेगा कौन जो ये बहुत सारी समस्याएं चाहे वो कन्या भ्रूण हत्या की और मैं कहता हूं माँ कोई जिसको कई बार हम बोल देते हैं माँ कोई जिसको हम कहें पद नहीं वो एक भावना है अगर मैं कहता हूं माँ पद है तो माँ आपकी बहन भी हो सकती है भाभी भी हो सकती है बेटी भी हो सकती है पत्नी भी देने दे हो सकती है सिर्फ जननी जन्म देने का रिश्ता माँ से है बाकी तो सब भाव है पद है तो अपने परिवार में जो भी मातृशक्ति के रूप में चाहे बेटी है बहन है भाभी है माँ है उन सब की हम इज्जत करें हम उन सब का कई बार बोलते हैं हम उनको बराबरी का दर्जा दे मैं कहता हूं बराबरी नहीं सिर्फ जितना उसका हक है उतना ही दे दीजिए अपने आप संसार अपने आप समाज आगे बढ़ जाए क्यों क्योंकि हमारा जो संबंध है माँ से दो तरह से संबंध होते हैं एक व्यावहारिक और एक आध्यात्मिक तो माताएं मैं चार माताओं का जिक्र करता हूं मैडम माता का रोल कितना इंपोर्टेंट होता है हम सबके जीवन में चार माता का जीवन में कर रहा हूं एक हमारी माँ जिसको हम कहते हैं कौशल्या माँ राम को ज्ञात था कि वनवास जाना है राज तिलक होना है लेकिन वो देखिए माँ किस तरह से तैयार करती है उस बेटे को तो वो माँ दूसरी कैक्सी जो रावण की माँ 
योग्य बेटा था लेकिन उसको भी खलनायक बना दिया तो वो माँ का रोल नहीं है तीसरी माँ कुंती कि भरे जंगल में भी पांच ऐसे योद्धाओं को तैयार किया जो धर्म का प्रतीक बने और चौथी गांधारी कि लालन पालन के समय ही आंखों पे पट्टी बांध ली और उन सौ कौरवों को उस वंश का नाश करने वाला बना तो मैंने दो पॉजिटिव रोल बताए दो नेगेटिव रोल मां के बताए तो हम सोचें कि हम सबका रोल हमारी मां का रोल हमारी जो मातृशक्ति मैं कहूं उसका रोल क्या है तो कहीं ना कहीं हमें सोचना होगा आज इस सेमिनार के माध्यम से वेबिनार के माध्यम से क्योंकि हमारी संस्कृति जहां शास्त्रों में पांच प्रातः स्मरणीय माँ का जिक्र आया है तारा बाली की पत्नी मंदोदरी रावण की पत्नी अहिल्या पाषाण से जो स्त्री बनी हम सब जानते हैं कुंती पांडवों की माँ और द्रौपदी पांच ऐसी महिलाएं हैं जो प्रातः स्मरणीय है अब उसके में जिक्र पे तो नहीं रोल पे रोल क्या क्या किया उन पर ज्यादा डिटेल में नहीं जा रहा तारा का क्या था कि तारा जो उसकी बाली की पत्नी थी देखिए अहंकारी पति था सुनता नहीं था लेकिन कितना संघर्ष किया उसके साथ उसको जीवन में सही रास्ते पे लाने के लिए राइट तो उस तरह की हमें तारा ने सीख दी हमें कि अहंकार के साथ और इतने जो सुनता नहीं उस पति के साथ भी किस तरह से एडजस्ट किया दूसरी मंदोदरी कई बार समझाया रावण को भी कि ये गलत काम है लेकिन रावण नहीं माना वो अलग बात तीसरी जो मैंने कहा आपको अहिल्या उस राम के मतलब वेट में पूरा जीवन निकाल दिया और चौथी जो मैंने कहा आपको कुंती मैंने अभी एग्जांपल दिया था आपको और पांचवी द्रौपदी संघर्ष देखे द्रौपदी का हमारे पे थोड़ा सा भी संकट आ जाता है हम टूट जाते हैं लेकिन द्रौपदी का संघर्ष देखिए कितने संकट आए लेकिन टूटी नहीं वो चाहे उदासी का टाइम हो चाहे बिखराव का टाइम हो लेकिन उसने अपने आप को टूटने नहीं दिया कि दीवार गिरी मेरे खस्ता मकान की लोगों ने आने जाने का रास्ता बना लिया तो हम बह जाते हैं कई बार इस तरह की भावनाओं में इस तरह की विपत्तियों में इस तरह के संकट में टूट जाते हैं तो हमें सोचना है कि एक माँ को एक स्त्री को एक बेटी को किस तरह से हमने परिवार में उसको हम आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं क्योंकि मातृशक्ति की जब मैं बात करता हूं वो तीन तरह के लोग होते हैं संसार में एक स्वयं का निर्माण करते हैं एक स्वयं के लिए निर्माण करते हैं लेकिन माँ या नारी शक्ति वो है जो स्वयं द्वारा दूसरों का निर्माण करती है जो लात खाकर भी सीमार साहब कह रहे थे कि हमें दूध हमें पेट हमारा भरती है और चार चीजें मैं हमेशा कहा करता हूं दिल से होती है मैदे से नहीं मैदे का मतलब पेट से नहीं होती दिल से होती है वो चार चीजें क्या है मेरी और आपकी माँ मजहब मुल्क और मातृभाषा हमें सोचना होगा समझना होगा कि इस संसार में अगर हम हैं उस माँ के कारण मातृशक्ति के कारण है और जो बेटी को किसी मामले में कम समझते हैं उन सब के लिए संदेश दे रहा हूं कि वुमेन लिख करके देख लेना अपने डायरी में वेमेन के अंदर ही मैन है शी लिख के देख लेना शी के अंदर ही ही है फीमेल लिख के देख लेना उसके अंदर ही मेल है तो नारी नर से श्रेष्ठ श्रेष्ठ पिता से मात नर से नारी कब जनी नारी से नर जात तो नारी के बिना तो हम संसार की सृष्टि की कल्पना कर ही नहीं सकते लेकिन हमारे समाज के नकारात्मक रवैये ने इस महिला के जीवन को संघर्षमयी बना दिया है जी हाँ पहले जिंदगी में आने के लिए फिर आ भी जाए तो जीने के लिए और जी भी जाए तो सम्मान के लिए सच है बहुत सारे नाम आप बोल रहे थे कल्पना चावला सुनीता विलियम्स ताकि आकाश के अंतरिक्ष की ऊंचाइयों को छुआ है सागर की गहराइयों को नापा है लेकिन आज भी हम लड़के के जन्म दिवस पर बधाई देते हैं और लड़की के जन्म होने पे सांत्वना के रूप में तो ऐसा क्यों करते हैं हम महिला सशक्तिकरण की बातें करना आंकड़े इकट्ठा करना ये दावे करना आसान है लेकिन सच्चाई का सामना हम सब पर को सबको मिलकर के करना होगा तभी हम इस नारी शक्ति को सम्मान दे पाएंगे हमें अपना रवैया बदलना होगा नारी शक्ति के प्रति और हमें एक विश्वास के साथ सम्मा जलाए रखिए सुबह जरूर होगी बस आस लगाए रखिए बस आस लगाए रखिए पॉजिटिविटी के साथ हम आगे बढ़े कई बार बोलते हैं पंचायत में महिलाएं आ तो गई लेकिन चलती कितनी है सवाल वो भी है आधी आबादी आज भी अधिकारों से महरूम है तो उनको किस तरह से आम आज अधिकारों को समझाने की जरूरत नहीं है अधिकारों को उन तक पहुंचाने की जरूरत है तो जरूरी है 
हम इस पे जो जेंडर सेंसिटाइजेशन पे हम सब लोग काम करें और उसको बराबरी का दर्जा मिल पाए उसको जो अधिकार है महिलाओं को वही इस वेबिनार का प्रोग्राम है जो एक मकसद है तो हम खूब आकाश की ऊंचाइयों को छुए लेकिन बस इतना ध्यान रखें कि हमारे पांव जमी पे हो कि वो हम पुरुष भी आगे बढ़े और महिला भी आगे बढ़े मीडिया के साथ ही जुड़े हुए एक मीडिया का भी सकारात्मक रोल होना चाहिए मुन्नी ही बदनाम क्यों होती है शीला ही जवान क्यों होती है तो वो हम वही देखते हैं जो मीडिया वही दिखाता है जो समाज देखना चाहता है तो हमें अपने रवैये को अपने एटीट्यूड को अपनी सोच को सबको बदलना होगा तब हम कहीं ना कहीं उस महिलाओं को जो सही मायने में जिसकी हकदार है वो आगे बढ़ पाएंगे तो इसके लिए हम सबको प्रयास करने होंगे मैंने एक महिला बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ का अभियान अमृतसर में माननीय प्रतिभा देवी सिंह पाटिल राष्ट्रपति थी जब एक प्रोग्राम हुआ उसमें मैंने बोला था बेटियों के लिए हम सबको इकट्ठा मिलने मिल करके काम करने की जरूरत है तो वहां पे मैंने बेटियों के लिए बोला था कि लहरों को शांत देखकर ये मत समझना कि समंदर में रवानी नहीं है जब भी उठेंगे तूफान बन करके उठेंगे अभी हमने उठने की ठानी नहीं तो हमें ठानना होगा उठ करके ठानना होगा सबको मिलकर के काम करना होगा चाहे वो शिक्षा व्यवस्था हो चाहे वो नेता हो चाहे अभिनेता हो चाहे हमारा शिक्षा जो क्लासरूम हो तो ये सारे की सारी चीजें जब मिलेंगी तो तभी हम कह सकते हैं समाज में जो रावण है उनका दहन होगा समाज में जो ताड़ खाए हैं उनका वध होगा अहिल्या शबरी इनका उद्धार होगा तो यही हमारा आज के प्रोग्राम का मकसद है मैडम जो आपने प्रोग्राम किया आईआरसीटी के साथ मिलकर के ये अच्छी एक शुरुआत और मैं कह सकता हूं माँ के रोल को बेटी के रोल को बहन के रोल को और नारी की शक्ति के रोल को लिख पाना बहुत मुश्किल है बहुत मुश्किल है तेरी कहानी लिखना जैसे बहते हुए पानी पर पानी लिखना तो कितना ही बोलते जाओ उसके हम कर्ज नहीं चुका सकते तो जरूरी है हम उस पर काम करें जो हमें जीवन में लाती है माँ ही लाती है नारी शक्ति ही लाती है क्योंकि हमने जीवन को चलाना भी है जीवन में कमाना भी है लेकिन जीवन को बचाना भी है जीवन को बचाना भी है तो ये कहीं ना कहीं नारी की शक्ति है जो हम सब के साथ जुड़ी होती है और हम आगे बढ़ते जाते हैं लेकिन हमारा भी फर्ज बनता है उस नारी शक्ति को भी हम आगे बढ़ाए उनको भी बचाए कि खुली छतों पर घर के चिराग कब के बुझ गए होते कोई तो है जो हवाओं का हाथ थामे है ये हमारी माँ की ताकत है हमारी माँ की शक्ति है जो हम किसी भी संकट में आगे बढ़ जाते हैं और औरत और महिलाओं को तो मैं कहूंगा कि वो इतना संघर्ष करते हुए भी आगे बढ़ती है कि लोगों ने फेंके थे जो पत्थर हम पर हमने उनको जोड़ करके घर बना लिया और घर बना लिया घर बसा दिया तो नारी है जो घर को बसाती है तो हमें सोचना होगा कि हम पुरुष भी आगे बढ़ते रहे लेकिन हमारी महिला नारी शक्ति भी आगे बढ़े कि जिंदगी में कुछ ऐसा करो कि काम दोनों का चलता रहे आंधिया भी चलती रहे और दिया भी जलता रहे तो मैं इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ आप सबका जो इस पे विचार किया आपने और उन विचार विचारकों का और जो विचार पे चलने वाले आप सब लोग हैं इस वर्चुअल प्लेटफॉर्म के माध्यम से जो जुड़े हुए हैं मैं आप सब की उपस्थिति को प्रणाम करता हूं और इन्हीं आशाओं शब्दों के साथ कि जो भी मेरे जीवन में सुख आए हैं वो जीवन में सुख सारे आपके आए और जो भी मेरे जीवन में दुख आए हैं वो एक भी आपके जीवन में न आए इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ फिर कभी मुलाकात करेंगे कि चिरागों को आंखों में महफूज रखना बड़ी दूर ही दूर तक रात होगी हम भी मुसाफिर तुम भी मुसाफिर किसी ना किसी मोड़ पर फिर मुलाकात होगी मोर डिसाइड करेंगे आप कहां पे मिलेंगे धन्यवाद मैडम आपने इनवाइट किया थैंक यू थैंक यू सर बहुत ही सुंदर और बहुत ही भावपूर्ण अभिव्यक्ति थी आपकी और वी आर बस आई डू नॉट हैव एनी वर्ड्स टू टू मार्क योर प्रेजेंस हियर वी आर फॉर्चुनेट इनफ दैट यू हैव ब्लेस ब्लेस अस विद योर प्रेजेंस ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड्स यू हैव सेड कि माँ से छोटा शब्द इस संसार में और कोई नहीं और इस शब्द से बड़ा अर्थ किसी और शब्द में भी कोई नहीं थैंक यू सर थैंक यू दिनेश सर बहुत ही सुंदर अभिव्यक्ति थी विचार आपके बहुत ही ज्यादा अच्छे थे और आपने इन विचारों को समाज में इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए जो हमें आगे का रास्ता तय करने के लिए कहा है तो वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट आवर सेल्फ टू द सोसाइटी एंड ब्रिंग सम रिफॉर्म्स विच हिंडर्स आवर मेन पावर इन दम ऑफ फेमिनिज्म इन कंट्रीब्यूटिंग इन द डेवलपिंग कंट्री सो 
it is a blissful presence of yours uh, aruna ma'am i would like to invite you again in, uh, in order to make a vote of thanks aruna ma'am aruna ma'am are you present here i am not able to see uh, your screen till then ma'am is going to join us uh, let us uh, have some little bit more discussion uh, and for the information those who are not able to join our whatsapp link i have shared my email id uh, you can you can send your paper there later on i will share the publishing email id for the papers and uh, i also acknowledge the presence of all the participants till this time 247 uh participants are staying with us even uh, it is the end of the session thank you ma'am uh, now you are able to uh, yes. actually main uh, link khat gaya tha to uski wajah se i was not able to unmute myself yes ma'am i was <laughs> similarly uh, having the same problem initially in the uh, session of the conference world mein kai bar ye sari problems aa jati hai kya kare hai na internet is the, is the one which is devil अच्छा एक हमारे पड़ोस में शादी चल रही है उसका इतना डिस्टरबेंस हुआ हुआ है बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा है दैट इज आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ वुमेन एंपावरमेंट बिकॉज़ दे आर ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग ए बहू फॉर देयर हाउस यस ओके एनीवे वैसे तो एक बार मैंने फॉर्मल वोट ऑफ थैंक्स दिया बट दिनेश सर सर जब आए तो उसके बाद सब कुछ हमारा दोबारा से स्टार्ट हुआ एक दिल से थैंक्स तो बनता है दिनेश सर के लिए वंडरफुल वर्ड्स ही हैज शेयर्ड विद अस इज ऑलवेज वंडरफुल ऑलवेज दिनेश सर को जब भी सुना है इनकी मुझे एक कहानी बड़ी याद रहती है इन्होंने एक चिड़िया की कहानी सुनाई थी जो मुझे आज भी याद है कि एक, एक जंगल में आग लगी थी और सभी मतलब भाग रहे थे इधर उधर तो एक चिड़िया जो है वो चोच में पानी लेकर उस जंगल की आग बुझा रही थी तो सबने पूछा कि चिड़िया तेरी चोच से क्या होगा तब उसने कहा कि कुछ हो ना हो लेकिन जब भी इस जंगल को आग जंगल की आग बुझाने की बात आएगी तो सब मुझे जरूर याद करेंगे कि मैंने कुछ अच्छा किया था बिगाड़ने की वजह तो वो फीमेल्स जो होती है ना वो भी ऐसी ही होती हैं वो हमेशा बनाने की कोशिश करती हैं बिगाड़ती कुछ भी नहीं है और ऐसे कहा जाता है कि शी इज क्लोज विद स्ट्रेंथ एंड डिग्निटी शी लाव विदाउट फियर ऑफ द फ्यूचर कहते हैं ना लाइफ जो है वो सिर्फ माँ के गर्भ में बढ़ती है लाइफ को अगर हम कहते हैं ना बढ़ा रहे हैं तो वो माँ के गर्भ में ही बढ़ती है उसके बाद तो लाइफ जो है फिर हम लोग काउंट करते हैं अपने इयर्स आज हम एक साल के फिर दो साल के फिर चार साल के लेकिन जिंदगी हमारी जो बढ़ती है वो माँ के गर्भ में ही बढ़ती है ओके आ, उसके साथ साथ सभी का थैंक्स कहती हूँ सभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स का स्पेशल थैंक्स टू आर गेस्ट स्पीकर जिन्होंने बहुत अच्छे वैल्यूबल वर्ड में हम लोगों को बहुत कुछ सोचने के लिए मजबूर किया कि वी आर ऑलरेडी एम्पावर्ड मीन्स एम्पावर्ड का मतलब ही क्या है हम तो पहले से ही एम्पावर्ड है शक्ति नारी शक्ति ऐसे ही नहीं कहा जाता है जब कहते हैं कि पूरे वर्ल्ड को बनाने के लिए नारी शक्ति ही आगे खड़ी होती है तो वी आर ऑलरेडी एम्पावर्ड इसके लिए मैं चार पांच लाइनें अमिताभ बच्चन जी की हैं जो बहुत अच्छी हैं और मुझे पसंद भी बहुत है और नॉर्मली मैं बोलती भी हूँ इन लाइनों को आ, उनका कहना है कि माना सूरत सा तेज नहीं मुझ में माना सूरत सा तेज नहीं मुझ में दीपक सा जलता देखोगे अपनी हद रोशन करने से तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे मैं उस माटी का वृक्ष नहीं मैं उस माटी का वृक्ष नहीं जिसको नदियों ने सींचा है बंजर माटी में पलकर मैंने मृत्यु से जीवन को खींचा है मैं पत्थर पे लिखी इबादत मैं पत्थर पर लिखी इबादत शीशे से कब तक तोड़ोगे मिटने वाला मैं नाम नहीं तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे इस जग में जितने जुल्म नहीं इस जग में जितने जुल्म नहीं उतने सहने की ताकत है उतनी सहने की ताकत है मैं तब कर सोना बनूंगी मैं तब कर सोना बनूंगी तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे दिल में है अरमान यही कुछ कर जाए कुछ कर जाए इट्स फॉर ऑल ब्यूटिफुल वुमेन्स जिनके कारण आज हम लोग हैं वी आर वी आर फुल सर्कल वो पहले भी हमें पता है कि वो सर्कल है हम लोग जो 
क्रिएट करते हैं ट्रांसफॉर्म करते हैं और यू कैन से बिल्ड करते हैं तो लेकिन फीमेल अधूरी है अगर मेल साथ में नहीं है आई ऑल्सो ऑलवेज थैंक मेल्स ऑल्सो आज हम लोग अगर खड़े हैं तो हमें सपोर्ट जो है दूसरा पहिया अगर साइकिल चल रही है तो दूसरा पहिया तो चाहिए नहीं तो एक पहिए की साइकिल तो सर्कस में भी चलती है तो हम तो संसार चला रहे हैं तो दोनों का होना बहुत जरूरी है तो मैं दिल से सिंसियरली ग्रेटिट्यूड थैंक्स करती हूँ अपने ऑनरेबल चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर रंजना राव जी का डॉक्टर संदीप कुमार सिंगमर सर जी का मेरी पूरी टीम मतलब हमारी पूरी टीम टीम वर्क वो होती है जो ड्रीम वर्क को पूरा करती है तो वुमेन स्टडी सेंटर हमारा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड आईसीआरटी जिन्होंने मतलब टोटल गाइडेंस एंड सपोर्ट दिया और विद अ शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दे गाइडेड अस दे मेड अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू मेक दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस इंटरेस्टिंग एंड गो ऑन मीन्स एक ऐसा लाइव सेशन बनाया कि जिसको हम लोगों को लगा था कि कहीं ऐसा ना हो कि फ्लॉप हो जाए बट फ्लॉप बिल्कुल भी नहीं हुआ और डॉक्टर सिहाग ने टोटली हेल्प की और डॉक्टर सिंगमर ने भी तो मैं सभी का दिल से शुक्रिया करती हूँ आई एम एबल टू सी माय फ्रेंड मनीषा आल्सो एंड मेनी अदर पीपल्स आल्सो आई एम एबल टू सी एंड डॉक्टर मिस्टर गुलशाद ऑल्सो आई एम एबल टू सी तो बहुत सारे ऐसे हैं जिन्होंने आज हमारे एक नोटिस पर इस कॉन्फ्रेंस को ज्वाइन किया है थैंक यू सुशीला मैम थैंक यू सोनम मैम मोनिका मैम एंड कोमल मैम एंड सुशीला मैम यू आर ए ट्रू मॉडरेट सेशन वेरी नाइस थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑल ऑफ यू सुशीला मैम ने अपना बुक के बारे में भी आपको बता दिया होगा कि वी आर गोइंग टू पब्लिश एडिट बुक ऑल्सो तो उसके लिए भी हम लोग चैप्टर इनवाइट करेंगे वो व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप के जरिए हम लोग वो सब चीजें कर लेंगे थैंक यू एवरी मैम थैंक यू एवरी वन दिल से थैंक यू गुड नाइट ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम फॉर योर वोट ऑफ थैंक्स फॉर वंडरफुल समराइजेशन ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स आई एम रिवाइजिंग सम पॉइंट्स प्लीज डू concentrate on that i have shared the feedback link already in the chat box as well as i have shared the uh, uh, besides the feedback link whatsapp link also been shared also i have shared my email id official mail id on which the papers and full length papers and abstracts are uh, you are invited on uh, that email id uh, till, till 15th of may abstracts are invited and uh, till 30th of may full length papers are invited and we we will certainly try to publish it with a good publisher uh, but try to try to make it with no noise and uh, much more informative uh, so that the society will get some fruitful words from your research work so it is uh, uh, our today's conference uh, why this is public means the group of people that is society and the power behind that society is and how the presence of women makes the power to publicize sushila so, ma'am unmute karo unmute karo okay thank you ma'am uh, i i need to explain uh, all the points again <laughs> due to some this is issue of no, muting and unmuting so sir ma'am last point pe aap unmute mute ho gaye the okay ma'am so the papers are being invited uh, i think uh, i have already uh, shared this uh, this information via whatsapp link i already shared email id already shared and uh, 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 feedback link already shared so all you are Uh, from our entire team baba masnat university uh, our icert and women study centers our entire team so i am acknowledging all the presence of the audience which are still with us to 217 people are still with us at the end of this session so i would like to pay my thanks and uh, acknowledge the efforts of all the guest speakers who have marked their presence here and shared their valuable uh, precious views uh, on today's conference 
so from our side i would like to depart now it is a departing time so we will uh, meet again on any other platform just like dinesh sir has said ki kisi na kisi mode pe hum log fir milenge mode hum create karenge hamare sath bane rahiye tab tak ke liye shukriya sabhi ko dhanyawad thank you aur hum sab ke sath bane rehne ke liye is session ko join rakhne ke liye aap sabhi ka baba masnath university department of education डॉक्टर सुशीला शर्मा हमारी एंटायर टीम वुमन स्टडी सेंटर डायरेक्टर डॉक्टर अरुणाचल एंड हर टीम डॉक्टर सोनम कोमल डॉक्टर मलिक कोमल मैम डॉक्टर मोनिका मैम ऑल दिस आई एम हाईली थैंकफुल फॉर देम फॉर देयर कंट्रीब्यूटिंग दिस देयर वैल्यूएबल एफर्ट्स इन मेकिंग दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल यू कैन से इम्प्रेसिव वन सो फ्रॉम माई साइड थैंक यू मैम Thank you audience thank you ma'am thank you participants thank you, thank you so much ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am okay thank you ma'am okay. ma'am ma ma please thank share you. email id again thank you ma'am okay thank okay, you madam okay ma'am thank you ma'am thank you madam thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am it's a wonderful session now thank you for the audience and now it is time to depart from my side i'm going to wind up the session thank you from my side once again thank you madam Ma'am, good night, and again, happy Mother's Day to all of you. Okay, good night, all of you. Good night, ma'am. Good night, ma'am. Good night, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.